So let's get started. Uh, this is the Rotary Roundtable coming to you once again on Mondays uh, at um, 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we've got a fantastic group of people uh, lined up. Um, and uh, we'll get started uh, with I could, uh, but... <sighs> Spoon, our boy Spoon. Um, Spoon, thank you for coming back. Uh, we haven't had Spoon here in I'll try and quite figure a long out what I can time. Do here. Uh, but he's made a, a huge effort to join us, so we definitely want to thank him for doing that. Spoon, we've always missed you. Um, uh, tell the world about yourself in case they've uh -oh. forgotten about you. One of my legendary panelists. I guess there are unlimited moments. So I'm sorry. Uh, hello, about that. I am Dancing Spoon. Uh, I'm your friendly American. I'm just here to debate some some pleasant topics with you fellow Americans. Uh, I stream on Twitch in normal era hours of the day uh and uh i look forward to conversing with y'all well no because it's gonna <laughs> this is tough. sorry i don't know uh, i'm curious how long like irish or some shit anyone <laughs> cringing yet oh my the god birds, the birds uh, <laughs> that's what they think we sound like uh, <laughs> i mean he's not that wrong yeah uh, all right well We'll Thank see. you for. Well, I'll try and figure this out. Here. I didn't realize it was going to be so complicated. I'm to get a little less working. now, but uh, sorry. Anyway, <laughs> I need to turn them down. They're all so loud. Holy shit! Uh, uh, yeah, basically, yes. Next, uh, we have well, besides someone Vidi, who I wish he uh, was on my channel a lot more. Um, but uh, we are thankful every time that she stops by. Demon Mama, Demon Mama, thank you for being here once again. Uh, Demon Mama is always a bunch of fun. Always brings the spice. Uh, to my channel um demon mama uh tell the world about yourself yeah hey everyone for those of you who don't know who i am um i am a uh, political edutainer who talks about lefty issues trans stuff um on youtube you can follow me at uh, my youtube channel which is demon mama on youtube or even better you can come to my website demonmama.com spelled just like my name down here in this corner just got to make sure i'm no, pointing definitely. at the right spot yeah demonmama.com um and we have a really cozy community after every panel we always do q and a's and review of my performance and everything like that so come on by We'd love to have you. Thanks. Okay. Yes. Excellent. Right. Um, there's something to be said about a person who uh, reviews their work and looks to uh, do better. I'm not one of those people. Uh, I put it out there. You like it or not. Fuck you all. That's um, fair. That's but... fair. <laughs> hey, that's, that's my boy right there. That's my style. If you don't <laughs> like it, uh, you can leave. God, that, <laughs> goddamn right. But uh, again, Demon Mama, always happy to have him around. Um, Next, we have the person that Demon was going to be fighting with, obviously. Counterpoints, thank you for being here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> tonight, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, so my name's Connor. I also have a YouTube channel named Counterpoints. Uh, oftentimes, I do get triggered on panel shows. Though, Porky, um, so if but you want to see me scream or yell or, or whatever, I frequently do it in the past. I the place. I'll try to be on my best behavior tonight. No um, green. Well, so uh, we can talk about that it's, after, Bones. It's, it's like, it's really bad when I get encouraged to be terrible. But anyways, um, if you want to see more normal uh, conversation level volume content, uh, go to my YouTube channel. I actually do talk about a lot of subjects in depth, uh, police, law enforcement reform. I am a former law enforcement officer. I talk about military issues. I talk about geopolitical issues. I talk about culture war. I talk about internet personality. I talk about, about Twitch um and uh yeah so we're, we're going fast having lots of yeah, fun is, would yeah. love to have you and uh yeah all right happy to be here. he also Thanks. talks with internet oh, thank you Kurt, trash. my with him in december was uploaded like a week or two ago he also has a cool conversation with endernax a while back mm -hmm. two videos of his i'd recommend because okay. yeah. we're both interesting people <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. oh, right on here okay yeah, right. Maybe. Um, okay, so uh, we Maybe might have well the shadows, who apparently is the man. We can talk about that today. too. Hey, Not for buddy, me, though, I see huh? you. How are you Not doing, for me? friend? <laughs> thanks for being here. <laughs> oh, uh, no, Devious. I'm uh, sorry to hear that. Uh, thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to be here. Um, yeah, I'm doing well. I hope everyone's doing well. Well, we can talk about it after, Dusty. Stick around. Great. Tell the world about yourself, maybe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good um, intro. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm I'm Shadows. Um, I am a neoliberal political streamer, um, and I like to talk about politics, economics, um, and I also like to uh, stream music. Uh, I recently actually finalized. Finally, I've been having some serious tech issues with my uh, keyboard, hmm. but I fucked it up to my computer, and 
Uh, I like to do some piano streams every now and then. So if you're interested True in video game minutes. music or jazz Get your music, bingos ready. Uh, you can definitely come and check me out. Uh, I like to play that, um, you know, at the beginning or end of my stream, depending on how I'm feeling that day. So, yeah. Actually, I think great, I know great, what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn and, off chat uh, on Zim, the screen for the time for being. Thank you for It's really, really kind of you. You've been... I'm going to turn off the chat on time. the stream really for the time being. Um, uh, but I will watch chat. Don't chat. worry. Thank you for being Don't here. Don't worry. Okay. Um, uh, next, we will go to uh, Vadim. Vadim, um, thank you for uh, coming through. Just because through. It's, it makes it cleaner um, on my screen. It's been a few weeks uh, since you've been here. Uh, we've missed you. Um, how how have you been doing? Thanks. Uh, I've been great. Uh, thanks for having me on once again, Prime. Um, my name is I'm Vadim, sorry, everyone, but you're Vadim. still being, the name you're still of being my here. YouTube channel. I make sort of comedic, political, uh, semi-educational videos. Um, I'm sort of a sock dem, maybe a little bit more to the left, but today I'm leaning, I'm, I'm kind of uh, reaching out to the other side of the aisle because uh, a, a fan gave me this amazing shirt of uh, Trump wrestling a gator in front of a, a Trump monster truck. Uh, so Impressive. yeah, my channel is amazing. Uh, Redneck has, uh, I, he's been quoted as saying it's the most in, in exceptional thing he's ever seen on the internet in his entire life. And I'm the world's highest paid ass model. Um, if you're not familiar with my channel, Impressive. you're familiar with my ass. You may not realize it, but it's in print, television, music videos. When Wonder Woman came to me, Wonder Woman 1984, that is, and said, we want the opening 15 minutes of Wonder Woman 1984 to just be a close-up of your ass, I thought it was a little odd, but hey, money's money. So I'm really happy to be here, and let's fucking party, guys. <laughs> yeah. oh, well, that's shit. See, now, you can wow. learn from shadows. This is how you make an opening. Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you so much for being around. I wish there was and a way I could just Redneck, put out my camera. Um, and all the but uh, interesting things uh, you said came out of his mouth. Hey, Redneck, thank you for uh, coming back. I haven't had you here in a, the longest out of everyone here. Um, Redneck, it's nice to yep. uh, see you. Only woman um, on the panel. Thanks for, Always. Uh, stop how are you doing today? That's how it happens. That's probably the safest thing you've ever done. That's probably the safest thing you've ever done is keeping my fat ass away from here. <laughs> That's about <laughs> it. <laughs> Do you mind telling me about yourself? Um, uh, my name is Redneck. I turned 50 in a month and 12 days. And other than that, I'm the oldest fucking guy who takes punishment from the left online than ever I've seen. I'm trying to find an older streamer who's willing to sit here and bullshit with you guys. Um, I like to joke and talk shit. Um, I say what I feel. I'm not afraid to hold my 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 ground, stand my ground. I'm, I get offensive. I, I am offensive. I'm an asshole. I uh, I enjoy it sometimes, but other times I want to be serious. So that's the balance I got to figure out online. Um, if you like banter though, and you want to just talk trash and you believe in free speech and everything that comes with it, that's me. I don't ban anybody. I don't block anybody. That's how I operate. I believe that we should operate that way. Oh, I got this. Don't you worry about this. And thanks for having me back. And uh, I'm glad I was able to fix fix a spot. Yeah, thank you so much. Definitely appreciate uh, you being around. Um, And I hope you're feeling better uh, from before. Uh, It's nice to have you around. Uh, Next, Fnatic. Uh, Fnatic, who is uh, denying the audience what they want, all right? Um, The picture of his uh, bulge and biceps. He's he's uh, gone on Dylan multiple times to be furious about Um, me. I know he still is. (laughs) uh, Like on their screen, I... Uh, every, the world cries out. Yeah, he's sadness, a really angry uh, person. He's held on to that for a long time. At you, look at you, but Fnatic. I'm still happy that you're around. Uh, for my audience, in case you don't know, Fnatic is the F on the side of your screen over there. That that's him. Um, uh, Fnatic, tell the world about yourself. Okay, can you guys hear me right now? There yep. might be a way for me okay. to fix this. I don't know. Hold on. Um, I'm Fnatic. Uh, I'm a musician first, uh, and I'm a video gamer second, and a political streamer third. Uh, I guess, I don't know, I really, I don't even know where I stand politically. I, I, I've come to recognize hmm. it, man. Like, my views are all messed yeah, up. Yeah, I really want to know how to fix it, but... The left on some issues. It's I don't know crazy. how to do it. Anyway, um... It doesn't yeah, seem to work to just output music, the, channel. Mr. the panel. I mean, my name is Fanatic on, like, everything. I'm a little sick What is right this now. panel about? Know, well, Here you go. going to work, but we're going to see... We can make this uh, Fnatic doesn't have his cam up. Energy. He doesn't feel comfortable having his cam right. up because he's yep. sick. So, no, fa- Fnatic here. is invisible. You'll um, have so to listen we'll for him. Started. Yeah. Uh, hey, I see you soon, uh, Sunday, another, um, I'll still be here uh, when you're back. Come in in a little bit, uh, but we'll see. 
Uh, all right, so topic. I one. wish so too, but they don't. Uh, <clears throat> topic one: uh, President-elect Joe Biden will be inaugurated into an extremely challenging environment due to COVID. By the time he takes office, it is estimated that nearly 400,000 Americans will have the died in the pandemic. Uh, and the economy has just begun contracting again by losing jobs in this last quarter. But Biden will at least have a Democratic House and Senate. Do you think Biden and a Democratic Congress is up to the task of responding to COVID? If so, uh, what will that entail? Uh, will they send out more stimulus slash survival checks? Uh, will they be able to give small businesses support they yeah, need I'm using to the stay afloat? Cam. Will they be able to improve uh, the disastrous vaccination rollout? Or will the divisions uh, in the party paralyze them? And without a filibuster-proof majority in the Senate, will Mitch McConnell be able to uh, block all of their efforts? All right, and this is the uh, question uh, from CounterPoints, um, and which very much appreciate once again, buddy. Um, always appreciate the help. Um, so uh, we'll get started with uh, Spoon. Spoon, um, introduction, please. Uh, hold on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, these are a lot of smaller streamers. I'm the right. I'm the uh, second largest one on. Well, I think I'm the biggest streamer right. well, on here. Spoon's falling apart. All right, uh, great, uh, okay. great having you back. Um, so let's go to uh, you, uh, Demon Mama. We'll have you start off. Yeah. All right. Um, God, there's a lot of questions ba- pe- baked into that first question. But uh, do I think that the Joe Biden administration will be able to handle <laughs> yeah. COVID? Um, well, Hit I mean, me through, oh. Uh, instead we, we good uh we can um can Jesus. other people hear, hear him i can hear yeah, him fine v- vadim i think that's you buddy yeah <laughs> but you're not gonna be able to hear us because we're all nah he's not gonna be able to hear Wait, us what, what's my problem the, no. I, are you eating chips uh i, I picked up a crinkly thing yeah for i like think it's seconds. uh you just gotta use push to talk yeah yeah um because he's not gonna hear us because we're all muted and we're by uh, I don't think he's in whereby, is he? No, he, uh, no. Spoon, Spoon is in whereby right now, um, and okay. <sighs> All right, so we just go, go just go. Okay. go. <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, do I think the Joe Biden administration is going to be able to handle uh, COVID? No, um, but they're certainly going to do better than Donald Trump did. Uh, Donald Trump more or less made this situation as bad as it is currently, um, and it's been atrocious. It is, uh, I think, that we have yet to actually let it sink in just how bad Donald Trump actually ruined this. Donald Trump and the Republican Party and his administration. Uh, and uh, I think that as uh, time marches on, a more clear-headed analysis of what Donald Trump has actually um, wrought on our country will settle in. I don't think that Joe Biden is going to be able to handle it as uh, as well as he should. Um, Joe Biden is um, far too attached to ideas of austerity, um, although he does appear to be uh, open to some... Um, stimulus of the of the economy and of the the people um that's good uh but he's uh traditionally been an a a candidate of austerity so i don't think he's going to do a particularly good job but i do think he'll do a better job and i guess that's what we're stuck with on the uh, federal scale right now um i think it's going to be increasingly important for communities to look out for one another um and even online communities um as people have been separated uh physically and emotionally and mentally um by this horrific pandemic which was uh made worse by people like donald trump and donald trump's followers who refused to wear masks um yeah i don't think any person i don't think there's any world leader who could actually handle this at this point it's spiraled far out of control but joe biden will do a better job than trump that much is for sure absolutely um let's go to connor yeah, so um, I, I think I, I pretty much agree with the majority of those points. <laughs> Biden will probably do better just because he's going to be uh, not doubting the severity of the disease. He'll be more likely to improve economic outputs, all that kind of stuff, um, in order to assist people. Um, and also for like a, uh, I think I don't know if Joe Biden specifically. Yeah, the audio is getting a little weird. Like, like the volume keeps going up and down. Are you for for me? Yeah, you. Okay. Yeah. Um, how's how's this now? Much better. Much better. 
Okay, so I'll, I'll try to be close. Fucking to Omega um, audio, so, so right wing audio. Uh, Jesus I think it's Christ. actually Joe Biden himself who coined the phrase, uh, "Don't compare me to the Almighty; compare me to the alternative." And I think that's something that we should be, you know, thankful in this place that we have Democrats will be more likely to roll out, you know, direct stimulus, uh, extensions of uh, unemployment, all that kind of stuff that's going to help people avoid this disease. And then finally, I think it's actually going to be a balance where basically the vaccines are going to roll out by the midsummer. And I think we're probably going to reopen the economy. And the reason why I say that is because we don't know the the we don't know the damage from uh, the economic fallout. We don't know the damage from the disease. And chances are we're going to start seeing some of those repercussions in the next uh, you know three to six months. So effectively, vaccines are going to roll out. We're going to reopen the economy, and then we're going to find out uh, effect you know basically how controllable this disease actually is. Um, so a lot of people want to uh, pin the severity of the deaths on Donald Trump specifically. If we have 800,000 or you know 1.2 million people dead by this upcoming December 2021, we're actually going to find out the efficacy of uh, Democratic establishment versus a Republican establishment and whether or not they, there's actually a demonstrable difference or whether or not this was all out of our control to begin with. Um, and I'll, I'll just leave it there uh, for now. Gotcha. Thank you for that. Um, Spoon, um, hmm. uh, can you uh, give hmm. another crack? Interesting. I think. Can you guys hear me? Is everything okay? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Fantastic. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I have kind of forgotten the question since we since okay. we started. Because I've been. I'll try to uh, figure it out for the future. I've tried to, by the way. Just so you know. You're cutting in and out. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Spoon, you're, you're uh, cutting in and out hardcore. I'm not sure if you can even hear me uh, right now. Um, but yeah. You're, you're... Yeah. This this should work fine. You hear me now? Everything's fine. No. Okay. Yes better try it again all right so um you said you forgot the question um why don't you uh, look look over the question um while we go to someone else it's pinned in the uh, group dm um so take a look at that we'll go to uh uh Badim. Badim. uh yeah i definitely agree with the overwhelming majority of a demon mama's points i think that it honestly if anything truly fucks things up it's going to be the um I don't know. Uh, maybe not. The, maybe they're not all as bad as the QAnon shopman, but um, there's that. That's a pretty high bar of horribleness. Um, there's just a lot of people out there who absolutely refuse to wear masks. Uh, dumb motherfuckers, in my uh, uh, honest opinion, who don't think that COVID is. Uh, you know, they think that uh, they're trying to inject microchips into their bloodstream. Uh, George Soros is probably yeah. a oh part my God. of that. This is going to be fun um, as fuck. I, I, I don't know all of the ins and outs of that bat shit uh, stuff, but um, there's there's a lot of that where I live, actually. I mean, literally, like, the girl who cuts my hair, she's pretty cool, but she's like, yeah, I don't know if I want to get the the uh, vaccine. I mean, like, she literally thinks, talked about the microchips. Um, so it, it, you know, it, it, it affects people that you, I am, don't, yes. you just don't think as are, always are, are on my crazy. body. And, um, I, you know, we need a certain amount of people, uh, a certain threshold of people in order to take the vaccine for it to truly be effective. That's, that's my understanding. If you guys, if I'm incorrect, somebody let me know. I, I, I think there has to be some sort of, uh, percentage of, of people who take it so i i i do think that um yeah, yeah sorry, well, that uh he got covid by the way in a country that is redneck got covid really back ass words in, in in a lot of ways and i think that that's going to be the biggest challenge there are other challenges that i'm not mentioning that um you know ways in which biden could address the situation that would probably be more effective. But I think that that's going to be the biggest hindrance towards getting us where we need to be. All of the people who just are not going to cooperate and uh, think that it's some sort of government mind control program. Oh, yeah, I have that. Thank you. We'll be talking like about that. that after, and I think I can use that. Thank you, know, you thank so you. much. Thank you, Dracosai. All right, I'm moving on to Appreciate Shadows. That. Um. Okay, so... Um... I think when it comes to Biden handling COVID, um, I think, you know, uh, I generally agree with the point that Demon Mama and Connor made, which is that, you know, um, Biden's not going to be the best at handling this. And I think that's true for most world leaders. A lot of world leaders fucked up on this. Um, 
so, I mean, that's what happens when it's a novel disease. But, you know, I would say that it's really hard to do worse than Trump. It's That's like a fucking accomplishment if you manage to do worse than Trump because he literally waited till the last fucking True, second though. till True. he acted. Not wrong. Um, Not wrong. But, yeah, I think he'll do a lot better. I think that is shadows to, of liberty um, relief and um, they're a neoliberal the streamer. I don't think stimulus checks are um, likely. I know there's another part of his plan that I hard disagree with, but we'll get to that later. Um, uh, I think, though, uh, his stimulus um, package, if it's anything similar to. Yeah, Trump, he's a self avowed neoliberal streamer. Pretty good, and it'll probably be for a cheap price. One of the things I'm really optimistic about is that uh, Biden, I think, is going to be similar to Obama in the sense that his um, stimulus package was less than a trillion dollars, but it fucking worked. Like it, it was bang for your buck um, when you see the effects of TARP and how well it actually worked in the economy. So um, I don't think he's going to go on a stimulus uh, in a austerity route. I think he's going to go on a stimulus route, and I think it's going to be very cost effective. Um, and I think there's a lot of things they're going to push through. Um, when it comes to the uh, Senate filibuster, yeah, um, mine, mine got interrupted. It stays, it's all good though. Hopefully, it does. That's my life. Um, because I think you know it needs to be there permanently. Um, but I would say that you know Mitch McConnell is probably gonna, you know, you know he's gonna have to he's gonna fold. I think if he goes too much in the. Um, I don't know what you call it, obstruction. Yeah, Vadim is here. I think yep. that's not going to look well for him. Um, so, yeah. Vadim is great. Sure. Thank you so much. All right. Um, going to uh, Fanatic. Yeah. So, this is one of those situations where, um, yeah, I guess I agree with like the vast majority of what Demon Mama said, um, what everyone's pretty much said so far. Trump set the bar so un- that. insanely low that it's almost impossible to do worse than he did. Everybody However, agreeing with me. Uh, there is one little thing that I think that's what you get when you're a trailblazer thinking kind Think of for yourself something kind of catastrophic uh, Biden is Biden that, it, um, that is because I the idea if because I, I don't know I guess Fair. I've heard a few people floating around the idea uh, fanatic is like a Christian to take the vaccine, I guess that's the best way to put it he's a Christian first like that, you're gonna get some really really severe rejections um, from society in general um, and it's true Mariner more suspicious um, uh, but yeah overall I think Again, you just can't do worse than what Trump did. Um, like he literally denied the virus for God knows how long. Um, yeah, so I, I think the, the thing that he's talking about as far as... Uh, That's great you know, to hear his snips. Creating a, a few more loans for small businesses and you know his, his, his relief. Um, Light up, Ziggy. Out. I haven't seen like a detailed plan of exactly what he's going to do yet. But That's like, me, just if you know. Around sound, like something needs to have been done. Um, yeah, I don't know. what 60% of businesses already shut down permanently, so I don't know what we're going to do about those, but... Yeah, I mean, at least it's a step in the right direction. Thank you. Redneck. Redneck? Pro streamer. Yeah, yeah, pro streamer here. I'll just un- uh-huh. uh, check in for my over there. Okay. Um, I, 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 I mean, Fanatic kind of said it was, you know, Trump couldn't set the bar any lower, but actually, I, I mean – that's where we're going to split. I think Biden has got the opportunity for a bar to be set so fucking low that he doesn't have to do shit except make sure nobody dies. So, I mean, realistically, it's a, it's a win-win for both. If they want to use that as the play. What? I do believe more like what Connor's saying though. I, I, I have always been the firm believer that have fun Spyro. See you soon. There's nothing we could have done anyway. I just, I'm a, I'm a skeptic that way. Of course we could wash our hands. Of course we could wear a mask. Of course we could distance ourselves. Of course we could do all of the things that we've been trying to do, but it still hasn't negated the deaths. It still hasn't negated the transition. Now we're talking about a new wave coming in from overseas. So if we're going to keep having COVID come out every year with a new variant, or if it's going to become the flu with multiple tasks, we're going to see, we'll see this year because, um, Biden called for a dark winter. He called he called for a very uh, protracted amount of time that we're going to be dealing with it. So, do I see them doing anything right about it? I just don't know who's pulling Joe Biden's strings. I just don't think he's doing it himself because I think he's been gone for years. What? That's what worries me. I don't know who's got the agenda. Who's got the ball? Sorry, um, I didn't mean to interrupt you. I apologize. Um, no, no, that was it. No. That was it. That was it. That was it. Okay, right. I think I'm good now. Hopefully, let's let's like hope and pray that this is good. Um, yeah. So the question here seems to be asking like, is Biden going to do better? And the framing of this question itself is kind of like, 
What does that mean? Be better than who? Better than what? Uh, are his things good? Good compared to what? What's the measure That's of That's all he has. Here? JDL. I don't want to be like his nuance, soup. bro. Like, well, we can't really say anything without 16 levels of nuance, but at the same time, like, the, the things he's suggesting look good, whether he's going to pull them off or not. Like, who fucking knows? Like, I, I feel like even intending to do better than Trump at this point, or intending to do good is enough, right? What the fuck are people talking okay. about? Is, is anybody true? actually responding? Um, uh, all right, so, uh, yeah, so it's open to the panel. See you soon, um, And... Uh, there's a lot to uh, this question, right? So not just whether um, he's going to, uh, Biden will be able to do better, right? But um, more like, will um, those stimulus checks, for instance, be it able looks like to uh, get out, right? Like, um, uh, can he add another $400? Will there be more uh, checks coming I know, out? I and know. Uh, how will Republicans react uh, to this? What do you all think? Uh, well, I want to say real quickly, um, someone or maybe more than one person mentioned that they thought that, um, uh, what's his name, McConnell, the turtle, obstructing would look bad. Of course it would to those who are in the know and kind of know it's, what's, what's really going on oh, behind it's gonna the go scenes fun. or in Don't front of worry. the scenes. But the Republicans are very good. Like, for instance, when... Um, to, uh, Trump. Oh, that's Vadim. Vadim is the one who looks like Dr. Check, Disrespect. And uh, that did not go through. And we got the $600 check instead. Oh, Vadim is cool as fuck. There were a lot. I mean, I've seen tons of uh, like people who were at the protest in, or the, the riots, I should say, in Capitol Hill who were pissed off that they got a $600 check and they were blaming it on the Democrats when the Democrats were just like, yeah, we'll work with you on that. And it was the Republicans who obstructed that. So my point is, is that they can do this kind of fuckery slash trickery where they are the ones who are kind of um, impeding certain um initiatives and make it look like the dems are at fault so um i i i'm not i'm not saying that that's like uh something that, that that everyone's going to buy into obviously but just let's not underestimate their capability to do that uh i guess i have other things to say but i'd like to let uh you know other people talk and i'll chime in as things go yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind um, backing up Vadim right there. So, so basically, the thing about it is, what a lot of what the left accuses the the right of is, is basically like, or accuses the Democrats of, is really being a center right party. So, so even though they're ostensibly like on the left, um, they do care about fiscal conservative uh, conservatism. They do care about tax breaks for the rich. They do, you know, play a good game of like representing, you know, being for the people. But oftentimes, they they just play a little bit less uh, harder than the republicans and then they just blame the republicans for problems um so that that's effectively where like my kind of prediction um is that while we're, we're probably going to get a second check we're going to get the 1400 bucks we're we're gonna um you know float into the summer um basically based off of the territory that i'm seeing and kind of the shared power um especially with the the filibuster proof senate i guess um or or, or the fit, whatever that means where like you can't pass anything without the republicans or at least a few I'm republicans angry um then i think that's going to be the real problem where we're probably going to get the second stimulus we're going to roll out the vaccine and then we're just going to fucking see what happens and, and that's kind of like my prediction for 2021 and 2022 is we'll just fucking they're, they're going to stab as many people as they can and say get back to work poor people good luck bye and that's uh that's my prediction um, so I have a few things I would like to say. Um, so uh, I think uh, something I forgot to mention in my opening statement is um, uh, there seems to be a um, problem with the rollout that actually seems to actually have to do with corporations, believe it or not. Uh, the state that is doing the best right now with the vaccine rollout is uh, West Virginia. And there are a few things they are doing differently. Um, I should try and pull up. You're good. Tweet. You're good. Um, you can swear as much as you like. The one big thing I swear all the time is they have not um, done a deal with CVS or Walgreens, which the other 49 states have done. So they're not doing anything with CVS or Walgreens because it's not common in West Virginia. They have these local convenience stores <laughs> and local pharmacies that they have to deal with. Um, so there are a few things there when it comes to the vaccine rollout. Um, 
and maybe we can look at what they're doing differently to, you know, lefty, fix it in uh, other states. With the way an I understand it right now is it leanings. seems to be uh, a more federalist approach to how we do the vaccine rollout, and that might be a problem. Yeah, I'm going to be calm. General, Don't you worry. Which uh, I can definitely agree with, and I'd love for some lefties, you know, fight yeah, me on if it here. should yep. be state level or federal level. Um, and then also, when it comes to this idea, uh, I know Vadim pointed out blaming the Democrats for, um, you know, why it's only six hundred dollars. That that's just not true. They yep, wanted two thousand dollars in the here. first place. They Enjoy had to it. negotiate down to six hundred because they're like, we want two thousand. The Republicans like, <laughs> all right, just forget one, buddy. Talk to you later. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa wait, okay, what about twelve hundred? It's like, eh, I don't know no. what he's. I, I'm, I'm we losing. I'm zero. falling asleep like, here. Okay, well, our bar is now 1200 because we really need to get something done. You guys want zero. Let's meet in the middle. And McConnell knew he needed to fucking do the relief or else he knew uh, the both of the Republicans were going to lose in Georgia. He did it purely for political, uh, geopolitical reasons. You know, he wanted them to actually have a fucking fighting what chance the fuck in is Georgia. This? So he's like, all right, fine, let's do 600 And so Trump jumps in and tries to make it $2,000, um, which – doesn't make sense, even though they've already done so much negotiating. It's just him getting in the way, him doing obstruction, even though it just what looks good. Because it's like, I'm not on Trump, and I love the American people. Let's make it 2,000. Even though they've already done so much negotiating. I think the other 1,400 is obviously going to be great. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I hope we get it. But that that's his point. His point is not that, like... Trump and the Republicans were actually fighting for 2000 is that they just did enough optics that they could turn around and blame the Democrats. That's all it was. That was, and, and uh, that the was the neo he was saying with the Capitol shadows, Hill protesters is that they Vermin. were effectively blaming and Democrats now it's for $2,000. Or, or not counterpoints, because counterpoints. Trump said that he wanted $2,000 and that we need to push back this bill uh, until they cut some of the unnecessary spend spending and get the American people two thousand dollar checks. Yeah, so that he, he's he's not talking about like actual efficacy or political efficacy. He's talking about what people believe on the ground. I like all of this like uh, weird details about who's doing the two thousand versus fourteen hundred versus six hundred dollars always strikes me as. Uh, phenomenally out of touch uh, and 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 even by the Democrats I don't think people have actually come to understand exactly what type of a year we've lived through we've lost nearly 400,000 Americans they're saying that by next month we will have lost 500,000 Americans um, that is unbelievable and the fact that we can only we that our wildest political imagination at the moment is that we can get uh two thousand dollar checks maybe if we're really lucky and if we get mitch mcconnell into a position where he's weaker that is an indictment of our entire society our society has and in large part, thanks to Donald Trump and the Republicans, become a heartless, inhumane waste. And that is what we are looking at in America right now. Uh, the prospects for the average American has just gotten worse and worse. Um, uh, Americans, particularly those of marginalized backgrounds, are dying in droves. And the best that we can talk about is, oh, maybe you'll get $2,000 checks. And all of this is hilariously uh, weak in the face of the fact that this pandemic threatens to destroy our entire economy, our entire country um, from the top down. And, and, it, and, and again— we're not even willing to spare $2,000 to try and save it. And yet, of course, we will have trillions of dollars go out in various forms of benefits for corporations and whatnot. The corporations who really only, in if you're really generous, facilitate um, some aspects of the economic of the of the economy itself the people who actually turn the gears the people who actually make the food the people who actually deliver the food those people get shit and those people are dying so i think it again comes off as incredibly out of touch for people to constantly be um going back and forth about oh that's the 2000 versus the 1400 it, it makes no difference to me we need to have a government we need to have an approach and if our government won't do it then we need to figure out how to do it we need to figure out how to save the lives of americans because as it as it stands right now that is not going to happen and we are going to have a lot more deaths and guess what 
we have another mutation in the in the in the uh, coronavirus that's spreading through again, and we can't even get the vaccines out on time. So what we are looking at is, and we are living through at this very moment, as we speak on this panel, we are living through the darkest, well, possibly the darkest winter in any of our lifetimes, and uh, that's just on a matter of pure numbers. I would. I would love to see anybody be able to present another such year, but we're just so stunned. We are in we are in cultural shock. We're in uh, in 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 emotional shock at how many people we've lost, and we don't even think about it. And a lot of that is specifically because of the way that the Republicans have uh, have have led this country down an absolutely inhumane route that is more worried about imaginary Hugo Chavez's ghost stealing an election instead of. 500,000 Americans by next month being dead. So, so Wait, I, I, well, yeah, what's your, okay. So you kind of said like, if the government is stuck in this, um, you know, tit for tat bullshit economic argument, then we need to come up with a solution as average human beings. What's your solution? Oh, there's quite a lot. Uh, I mean, the first would be, of course, mutual aid is the easiest way to start with it. Um, look into your community. Find people around you who can help one another. If you have something, you consider how you could use it to help somebody else. This is how we have to start rethinking the way that we look at America, because what we've seen is one year in one of the worst pandemics um, that, I mean, in arguably the worst since the spanish flu um and we're watching this pandemic rage while donald trump is uh is is prancing about playing some game in the white house and the democrats can barely muster the spine to even ask for a 1200 dollars check we need to think a lot harder than we are right now and i think that starts with uh, with communities addressing the fact that there are people who very well in this coming year may starve there are people right now in all of our communities who don't have a place to live there are buildings that are standing empty that the government refuses to order them to be full so how do we fix that problem well that's a really tough question but i think a lot of it comes down to local pressure a lot of local pressure on politicians to make those moves to turn those empty standing buildings those empty standing hotels into places that can that can take care of those who are dying in the cold yeah, sorry. Uh, but didn't, um, sorry, I, 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 I missed it, but um, Biden said that he's going to be- Can you source uh, any of that? I'm sorry, which part did you want me to source? Which which part, Redneck? Well, okay, so- I mean, any of it. I mean, I mean, literally, wait, literally, you said- Threw in starvation. I mean, you threw in a plethora of things that are all a Trump- Demon Mama, we got it. You hate Trump. We all know this. That why can't why can't we talk you, about you, this from the point of you were breaking, what is you were Biden breaking going up. to I didn't do? hear what you said. Yeah, yeah you're coming oh, yeah. out right? oh, well, thank I mean, God I thought it was me. Maybe <laughs> thank God. maybe I can give some pushback. Yeah, I, it was you guys too. Up. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I'll, no, so I'll, I'll, refresh. I'll, I'll try to I'll try to give some some questions or some loaded questions there because like so so I agree with the solution, right? Solution is Look to your local community, pressure your local uh, your local representatives, try to get them to uh, create food banks. If you have the ability to you know, donate anything, if you have an extra income, then go ahead and try to help out your, your local community. And on top of that, having a, a, a communitarian mindset to begin with, rather than giving a shit about what's happening on DC, what ha what's happening in my city, what's happening with my people, and then taking that into your, you know, your heart and thinking about that and doing all that. The, the solution I'm perfectly fine with. Um, and like, I'm not trying to nitpick. I'm just trying to maybe ar articulate maybe some of Redneck's questions. Um, is, is so, for instance, like we we are already doing some of these things. Like, you know, uh, food pantries are kind of doing their thing. Churches are kind of doing their thing. The economy, um, a as much as it collapsed in the last quarter due to uh, basically uh, collapsing unemployment. And on top of that, I will agree that the stimulus is not sufficient. Um, what was actually interesting about one of the things about the economy was they thought that it was going to be like this total like implosion. But effectively, what happened is a lot of consumer dollars went into different things. So rather than going into eating out, um, it went into takeout rather than going towards, um, you know, extravagant uh, trips or vacations. It went into improving your household for those of the people who were still able to work. Um, so it's kind of. Um, I guess I would have to look at the data, and I really wish socialism done left was here. Um, but uh, it, it's kind of, I agree with your solution. 
I'm wondering about your description of the problem, and maybe Redneck can articulate that a little bit better once he's uh, his audio's back up. If my mic's working, I can hear you now. right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, go, Redneck. <laughs> um, yeah. Look yes, people, person. I'm on some fucked up internet. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Demon Mama, what I was asking you was, uh, look, we understand. Uh, and you also brought up the people starving, the kids, and all those other things. Are we losing me again? Yeah, I think we are. Yeah, keep, maybe keep maybe reset try. your router or something. Or, or um, maybe you try leaving the Discord on um, and coming back. God damn. Um, I'll, yep. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll, I'll just say, I mean, I, 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 I want to go. I don't okay, know if well, Redneck's well, going to hear this. Oh, okay. Go ahead. We'll Sorry, go Spoon for first. Um, and then, yeah, and then we'll go to you, Uh Go ahead, Spoon. Yeah, so I like these solutions that Dima Mom is putting forward. They sound like good, but these are sort of minor solutions to a very large problem and i think the actual solution has to come like systemically is is the solution socialist it's like revolution everybody helping each other out is to be oh, oh fuck hold on am i am i here yes no yeah, all right i'm good yeah, all right. I'm, I'm cutting it out again um yeah no the solution is not like fucking socialist revolution the solution like has to come from the government right we need like the stimulus we need like uh like housing orders and stuff like that and like provided housing not just like hey let's all help each other out like that's all well and good and all but i don't think that fixes the broader issue does it well we've been sitting here waiting for a year we've been i mean people yeah, I know, have been begging for a year so like the problem is is that what we are we're faced with a unique challenge which is what happens when the government says no and as it turns out we have uh witnessed over the last couple of decades a very a uh, couple of very good examples of when the government does say no and they say no all the time and they say no to the people that are most in need and then those people are left to die this entire year the year of 2020 and regardless of whether i hate trump or not i think i have pretty good reason to hate the guy um given that you know he's um unleashed untold suffering onto the people i care about in this country um not alone of course um but uh but but yeah i i think that we have to face the reality that like um our government is just failing to answer any of our needs and i, I don't agree. think that necessarily means um that there is a um you know that you need like a, like some sort of socialist revolution but perhaps a revolution in the way that we think about things the way that we approach problems and a lesser reliance on um these giant parties that just constantly refuse to give aid even when it's available and also a, an acknowledgement of um of the fact that this system is being used maliciously by people like mitch mcconnell um where the aid is almost there the aid is nearly there and then people like mitch mcconnell step in how do we have it how is this how is it possible for us to um have a system that can be so um Un like what's the word uh, obstructed so easily by a single person does that not indicate some serious democratic issues in the way that our mm -hmm. system unfolds um, I, I agree. I'm just yeah. a little bit more doomer about okay. it. And just I, like, I, I try not to be doomer right. because I would prefer to have the people that, that I care about nice. actually live. <laughs> I think we're still going to die. <laughs> like, Damn. Like, yeah, it's, it's nice. Check um, out then. See you later. Go, go ahead. Uh, the demon then shadows. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, I just want to briefly address what um, Redneck seems to be a little incredulous about, what Demon Mama was talking about. I mean, we know for a fact, I, I, I don't know if there are current numbers because I don't know if a study has been done recently, but in 2018, there were as many as 38 million people living in poverty. That was 2018. We're living in um, post-COVID world right now. And I can't imagine that that number has decreased. I imagine it is increased. Yes, Jesus, I I'm sorry. I know, the, I feel you. The, the I'm sorry. To substantiate that, but I, I, I think it's a pretty good inference. And, um, you know, there's also, I mean, just look up eviction crisis that happens to be going on. And it and it, it really looks like a situation that's going to exactly. uh, True spiral Hulk. out True. of control. Thank you, Ziggy. In not I'm going to keep killing it. Now. So, um, I mean, these these are very easily Googleable. Is that a word? Googleable things that you can look at and just really just with common sense discern that there probably are some starving people. I mean, I, I think it's safe to say that if people don't have a home, uh, like, like a roof on, over their head, that it they're, is tangled. they're probably I know. I don't know how to untangle you know, it. skipping a meal or two. It's gotten tangled at, up. At, at best. Or, and um, 
Yeah, I just I, I I could throw out some some other things, but those I think are just a couple of broad things this. that you can just but it does you know determine with common sense that yes, there 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 are there, I got people it for who are indeed starving right now more probably way more so than last year at this time or or a year and a half ago but, before um, COVID really kicked in. And I, I want to let shadows go, but this, this, yeah, sorry, go ahead, buddy. Uh, all right. Uh, sorry. Um, thank you, though. Um, so I, I just r really want to jump in on like what Demon and Steve were saying. First of all, I think it's a really interesting dialogue. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I lean more toward in favor of uh, Dancing Spoon's position. I do think this d is a systemic issue where we do need a national response. But, but there is I really, I just have a serious fucking problem with the way you phrased that. Um, like, oh, just one person can step in and get in the way. It's like, well, of course he can. He's the Senate Majority Leader. This would be like the same thing as Pelosi getting in the way of something. Oh, like, damn, the he's the dictator. Point. Yeah, there might be a well, problem I mean, if the Senate Majority Leader can stop the entire country from getting aid. Yeah, that might be a problem. Well, no, the thing is he can whip all the Republicans in line in the same way Pelosi can do with the Democrats. Yeah, That's that might be a problem. Got... But guess what? You know who well, does what it? Doesn't want to. Mitch McConnell. Yeah, what if he doesn't want to? Yeah. Mitch McConnell is able to wield a, an army of people who fall in line every single time, and they fall in line for the most inhumane bullshit, and then they have a, a mouthpiece in the ex executive that just frames it on everyone else. We have a crisis of complete misinformation and a complete breakdown of democratic rule. Why is it that, um, that when we have a pandemic that affects people on a national level, we have no answer? for actually being able to get help to the people who are dying. You do realize that this is an indictment of our democracy, right? The way no, that- we... No, 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 hold on, hold on. The way that we have handled the pandemic is an indictment of our democracy. There are people in states that have have begged for aid, people who have voted for aid, who have voted in representatives who would support aid, who cannot get that done because the Republican Party has held this country in a chokehold, and they are hoping to do it for longer. This is a this is an indictment of our ability to actually functionally have a democracy, and I would argue that that requires us to be incredibly critical about the way our government is stru structured going forward and what we should actually be fighting for as we go forward uh, into 2021. Okay, two things. I'm responding to that. Two points. One, I think I, I get why you're saying why it's an indictment. I think it is much more an indictment of the Republican Party and how fucking awful they are and how little they give a shit about people. I, I think it's more an indictment of that. And I think you would agree with those points. And two, it's like, I mean, I get why you're saying it is a problem that Mitch McConnell can just get in the way. But what would your solution be like? The president can just do it unilaterally? Like, you, I think there are the numerous. Around? I think there are literally numerous other um, structures that we can that we could put into place that don't that don't allow the Senate Majority Leader to ultimately refuse aid to people all across the country okay, unilaterally. Can you give us a yeah, or two? I mean, uh, we could look at uh, more parliamentary That's... systems of organization. I mean, these would require reforms, but we're not talking. We're talking about needing to can save. Can you hear me? Can you all hear me? Uh, yeah. 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 Finish your point, uh, Demon Mom. Yeah. We can't um, hear you. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I think that we can restructure these. It's really hard for me to outline <laughs> entire changes that we can do, but there's a whole bunch of options on the table as far as how we can structure this. In addition, um, I I do think it's an indictment of our entire system. Even though I do think the biggest problem is the Republicans, but it's also the fact that we allow anti-democratic an anti-democratic party to gain power in this country. I think that's a problem. Um. Okay. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, uh, Connor. Cool. Um, so, so yeah. So this is where I'm kind of wondering how much we disagree. In, in, in kind of like I don't want to, I don't want to talk past each other because, because effectively, we probably don't agree on like the the solutions, like the prescriptions or whatever. But we largely agree at least that there's a problem. Okay. Thank you. Sather. So for instance, Appreciate like it. some of the problems that were demonstrated through the pandemic for me was number one was like food security and medical security. That was fucking insane. Like I don't know if you guys remember the beginning of the pandemic where effectively like it was um, there, there was about four weeks there where people couldn't get groceries consistently because everybody was rushing the store shelves um i also don't you remember i uh, don't know if you guys remember if like six months into it there was a discussion about whether or not we would run out of meat uh because meat packing workers were getting infected so fast that they couldn't even mm -hmm. like process the food that was coming in um i so so basically it's like 
the fact that food security, I um, mean, this is kind of, oh my God, I'm going to have a lefty talking point here. Um, th this is where like even thinking about how to enforce food security for the entire country, because you know what happens with starving people, starving people, you, you think Capitol Hill, the Capitol Hill riot on behalf of Trump was bad, starving people storming the Capitol is going to be a lot fucking worse. Um, so, so reconceptualizing how we do food security inside the United States, and then also medical security. We were, we literally outsourced so See, much of our medical harm? manufacturing for PPE to the source of the pandemic that effectively what happened was the source of the pandemic prioritized PPE for their country of 1.2 billion people. And I'm talking about China right now. And us, even though we're one of the largest markets and we're one of the richest countries, we effectively couldn't get PPE in a timely manner. And we had no domestic manufacturing. So, so that's kind of where um, I don't like, I, I kind of agree with Demon Mama here where it's like the, the, the easy question or, or the easy fight or whatever. It's like, who's gonna do a better job? Democrats or Republicans, and even if it's terrible, um, what's you know like uh, what what are these like half-assed reforms and half that half-assed policies that aren't really going to change anything? When we really should be looking at like we just got fucking smashed by a Category Five hurricane and we weren't ready for it. How do we prepare society so if we get smashed with another Category Five hurricane that people aren't starving, dying, unemployed, on the verge of revolution, ready to kill each other, buying guns, stockpiling ammo? Like we're still in the middle of this shit, and well, I, I think you're right. We're not asking the right question. Yeah. No, no, no. But hold on. We, no, there's an answer to that question. Number one, we already had that with Obama. Like he had like like literally a task force that was specifically designed to deal with pandemics that Trump um kind of disassembled. I also don't like the idea that we're like giving him uh this credit where it's like oh yeah yeah, yeah. like this this situation was completely unavoidable like we couldn't have done anything about it like no with faster yeah. response we could have controlled this spread i think it's because we genuinely agree on this certain thing it. we're like literally supposed to be like the leaders of like the free world and here we are like literally having our our, our president and all sorts of his cabinet like literally denying it refusing to wear masks they were even <laughs> refusing to wear them during the freaking capital like no like th th this isn't a matter of oh this was just something inevitable trump literally completely like he, he he fumbled the bag and then now okay. in hindsight he's I, gone it, right hold on he's leaving hold on hold on we we fumbled the, he fumbled the bag bag Bruh. and now he, he, can, can, can i finish a point please and now in hindsight instead of you guys taking account of true stuck monkey what, bread pilling in live action did, it's instead, fanatic like he doesn't have his cam like, create this imaginary fanatic has no cam no the virus is just really out of control and there's nothing we could do you want us to do nothing that could have been done redneck about. what, what, what the know, fuck what, do you want us to do sure, sure what i wanted us to do what i wanted us to do was to actually lock down what i wanted us to do was to wear masks what i wanted us to do was to actually um Put yes. more energy into actually uh, uh, like having the federal government get behind is that the Japan from the like Japan beginning. yes like Japan and like like plenty of give me an example of one what I, okay what I wanted, and, what I and how are they doing what I wanted okay. to do was to have our actual leader not denying the virus and claiming that it was going to go away like a miracle when he didn't even actually understand it what I, I wanted I, us to do was not have our leader can, telling can we, us to inject bleach into about the, can we lungs. talk about That's the facts correct can I can I answer Redneck's question actually no, you can't. Uh, I haven't even asked a question yet. I haven't second, even asked a question yet. I've been one second. Okay, so that was a response to Connor. So Connor, please go. Yeah, yeah. So I, I really do have two points. With he this. could L be. Listen, you said you guys support. At I've times. never been a Trump supporter. I didn't even vote for him in twenty sixteen or twenty twenty. I think fanatic is generally okay? based so on race stuff I'm quote unquote and on, on the right on uh, mean Trump. I'm a Trump support, but, but not on religious things or social so things. California has had one of the strictest uh, restrictions in the entire country. They basically enfor they enforced uh, social mandate or uh, the, the social distancing. They have mask mandates. They've been shutting down businesses, all that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. You want to know where the fucking epicenter of the disease is right now? Los Angeles. So I actually reject that like all oh, of this no. is controllable. Some of this it's shit is not controllable. No, 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 I'm not it's done. You talk for five work. minutes. Let me talk for fucking Guys. two. So, so basically like, some of this shit is uncontrollable. You don't control earthquakes. You don't control tsunamis. You don't control fucking pandas. You can do some things to help. You can, you can mobilize aid. You can use PPE. You can enforce social distancing. You can do all this kind of shit. But at some point, there's some things that you can't control. And to further demonstrate this, what you're saying, like basically what I said is we needed fundamental structural reform around food security and medical security. I don't think you disagree with either one of these points. And on top of that, what would happen if the lethality rate of fucking uh, a new disease, let's say it was like uh, Ebola mixed with COVID, and the lethality rate wasn't 2%, let's say it was 30%. 
What does the United States do? How does a Democrat control a disease that has an effective exposure rate and lethality rate of 30 percent? And then how do we manage food security that we are? You're saying like a Democrat would have controlled this better. I'm saying that we're out in the fucking wilderness with our ass flapping in the breeze. And the next time a big thing shows up to fuck us up, it's going to fuck us up because hey, we're not thank you asking so much. the right question. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, uh, Vadim, that, um, and then uh, uh, Shadows, and then we're going to go to Redneck, thank right? Thank you, Adam. And then, um, uh, Mama. Uh, so, it, it, Counter, um, I definitely would not You are not abandoned, in, don't in, you in worry. In a situation like this, there's, there's you are always not some sort of like wild card uh, why is the video restricted? Deal with uh, the reason why. I mean, you my video shouldn't be restricted. Acknowledge this. I could be wrong. Um, is but it? More than likely, the reason why Los Angeles has the the, the rate that it has is don't, because it's a very densely don't, Gina, populated. Don't, Gina. It's okay. I'll take care of it for you. Don't worry. And um, don't worry, and Gina. Another thing that we have to think about. It, a lot of people kind of, you know, <laughs> we were talking earlier about the discussion of federal versus like. Uh, State action oh, oh okay, and okay. the twitch a lot of people okay, don't kind of take into account the fact that uh, that states it happens you know, Gina, don't worry about it go from state to state and, and goods travel from state to state and you know once once a an area that has tons of um people in it get reinfected i mean they, they can get reinfected due to other states fucking up that are not as densely populated but i wanted to say one other thing which is slightly unrelated See you later polar thanks and for coming by i think it's actually kind of a um i don't know a possible good sign um there is and it, it sounds unrelated but it's related uh there was a study done just within the time that donald trump has been off twitter there's been a 73 percent drop in election misinformation according to one study and my point is this is that perhaps not having this guy not just on twitter but but you know as as our uh, country's leader we we might hey, see Corvus, more good to see of a significant increase yeah don't forget to like the video like and subscribe kind of doing what they should do and because because they they have uh you know it's a, it's a leader really appreciate it. if you haven't subscribed leading sub by example and ring the bell type of thing love to um, have you I'm, that's you know definitely my no stuff guarantee, but I'm just saying, like, it, it's it. Hopefully, it'll work out that way. So, uh, yeah, I'll just uh, throw it out to everybody else to say what they want to say. Oops. Okay. Uh, shadows. Um. Okay. So, I uh, something I really wanted to respond to was it seems like a point Redneck was trying to make about like what could we have done better. Um, and this is a point that I will I will Thank die you, on the hill till the Happy day I here. fucking die because this is so important. Okay, I do yeah, not think does, Kirk, that a Kirk, federalist Kirk. response was inappropriate. What I think was inappropriate was waiting a month and a half to fucking act on this. The first death from COVID in this country was February twenty eighth. Okay, when did Donald Trump say states have authority? April tenth. Every single fucking weekend in March, this man was fucking golfing, okay? He should have said the day after, the day after we had our first event, he should have been on national fucking television and said, hey, states, you have authority on this. You have to deal with this. He should have gotten the federal government ready on that day to start helping these states out. Um, so I think that is one a big thing. That's one of the reasons why we royally fucked up. He only said states have authority because he didn't want to fucking do anything. Um, but I, I do think there are plenty of Republicans who do think a federal federalist response would be appropriate. Um, but yeah, I, I, it's the inaction. That's so you mean problem. federal, not federalist, right? Um, okay. Federal. Um, federalist is so a federalism is the idea that the power of the federal government comes from state governments. So you're saying that you want a state response? I'm really confused now. I, I'm you saying want a federal response. I'm I'm saying no a, a a federalist approach to responding to the coronavirus. So yeah. federalists be believe in states doing it's a wild more than ride, the federal Corpus. government. This has I'm been wild. This could have been responded to on the state level. That's okay, the constitution. Yeah. That was, I was well, okay. yeah. That's how our country is built. But there's the a lot of validity to it, obviously. Okay, I was but having, I, I'm trying to but... speak to like you know the more Republican conservative mindset. Okay. Uh, you know, states doing He's more. Are you a conservative America. Republican? I uh, no, I consider myself a neoliberal. Then how do you speak to the mindset? Because I understand how they think. 
Okay. Oh, Fred, it's your gotcha. turn anyway. Do you want to get out your point? No, I mean, I, I, again, the question, the question was. Maybe, Sock Demon. It's what, been fun. Biden. What is Biden going to do? There's also How a lot more to come. So maybe stay here. That's what be everybody's fun. bitching about. The motherfucker who just got voted out. And they want to blame Trump still. If that's going to be the way it's going to go for the next four years, just let's call it as it is. Just blame Trump now. Let's just co- blame Trump right now for another 500,000 deaths next year and then for another 500,000 deaths after that. He's still okay. Yeah, like, he's, like, no, 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 no. Listen, again, the question was, guess what? Here it comes. Here it comes. The question was about Biden. Was it not, Prime? Am I here to talk about what Biden's going to do? Can Biden. you restate your question? In full. Do you do you even know? Yeah, it's not my about, fucking he's question. Right, I, right. He's and right I'm there. asking. Do you the know question. The fucking about... question was about Biden. Do we? Th- I, I, he's okay. right. I, I'm okay. just curious. About do you Biden. know anything about his 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 plan? Like like, do you know anything specific about it? Redneck. Was that to me, Vadim? Was yeah, that yeah, to me? Yeah. Yes. Yes, it was. I've seen what I've seen him say is that he's going to immediately for the first hundred. He wants 100 days of masking uh, federally mandated. And I've also heard him discuss a further stimulus check. That's it. There's more I haven't seen that. him talk about there's any there's rollout there. plans. Uh, I, that's what I've hey, seen. Hey, thank you, you so much. Like Let me check right? in on that real quick. It's still like pretty good. Better than Trump. Look, I, OK, that's not again, I'm it's like more an of the Connor mindset. Fair enough. We've been Fair through enough, a year Adam. of this. True. We've been through actually more than a year because like the WHO knew about response. this from China back in October of 2019. No one said a fucking thing. No, they did not. No, I'm, okay. I'm with you. Listen, no, like, they did with, not. with all due respect, I would really like to to keep this in the like realm of reality and not trying to instead of to pivot off of you being mad that somebody's that that people are accurately blaming Trump for a lot of the things to now you inaccurately trying I'm to blame. I'm not mad about like, that secret... demon. I, I, I'm saying that's not the question. The question was about yeah, Biden. Except, but and I, if you but guys want to talk about moving my forward, place, you at least can't for keep my bitching place, about past. At least for my piece, I basically oh, okay. only talked about Biden. Um, I said that I do think that Biden will do a better job than Trump, but almost all of my answers so far have talked about how what Biden is likely to do is not going to be enough and how we need to seriously rethink the way that we um, – you know, the way that we uh, engage politically and the way that we think about politics in our country. Now, it's interesting because I actually find myself in, in agreement on uh, on two points that Connor points made, um, which are the uh, food insecurity, health insecurity. But I would actually also add a third one to that, which is housing insecurity. Um, we have a, a kind of ridiculous system. And I think what this has shown us um, is that one of one of two things it would be the takeaway from the last year is one the free market um appears to be completely incapable of handling pandemics of this type especially when considering um things like uh housing food and health but secondly um that our so-called democracy isn't particularly democratic when push comes to shove and um that uh the the uh, the, the the challenges of trying to deal with a pandemic are currently um, made worse because of the amount of influence that the president and single positions within the government can hold over everyone else. Um, and and I think this is a, a systemic, a, a deep, radical problem that we need to address. That, that that I don't I don't fi- hear it like I, I don't hear any answer from the right except we should install King Trump God Emperor Trump and overthrow the false election which you know that has been mostly what the right as somebody who covers right wing news sources all the time that's basically all the right is talking about these days about overthrowing Biden and and saying that oh we need to have Trump be four more years all this nonsense um, and that's ridiculous to me the fact of the matter is we need to give people homes we need to give people food we need to give them health care and if we do those things we will be as a country significantly more prepared i don't care what economic system you subscribe to those three facts we've known for a long time that all humans need health care water food and shelter and we don't have those as guarantees in our society that makes our society weak can i Brian, you know what we have back done? up for we have the... all right go ahead we, we, i agree we, 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 this 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 is important because what we haven't done is that we haven't actually gone over aspects of of his proposed plan um thank you so, by the I way mean, like maybe thank you. people don't know what th- those the you know uh, what that entails so i i, I don't know everything yeah but i agree Adam. i know that the consequences are going to be bad I'm, I'm looking at an article right now 
Um, I know that he wants to set up um, team members. Yeah, I meant to say in, uh, I meant through three. FEMA I meant to say food and, and water as one. Of You're right. Sites in gyms, sports stadiums, and community centers. I can't count, but I got he good wants politics. To deploy mobile vaccination options to reach those who can't travel to remote places. Uh, they want to expand who can deliver the vaccine and call mm. up retired medical personnel. Thank to you, aid comrade. The I tried to. They want to launch a massive public education blitz aimed at communities skeptical of the vaccine i think that's pretty cool um they also i mean i i, I saw a just uh, not a discussion a speech that he gave i think that also one two whether five. or not he can get this passed is <laughs> i gave a bonus is, uh, yeah it was a, bonus. a question but he wants to get the 15 dollars minimum wage passed which would definitely improve lots of people's lives i mean especially in low income communities um there's there's more than that i'm I not like listing water. everything i'm that's drinking out water there, right now but i the, 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 these are all approaches that are nice. beneficial you could say that there that there are uh, more things that we're going to talk about do. that later too i agree with that yeah it, but, it stays cold um, forever i i think uh, my, I guess real my, good my main point here is just that i i think that he has more on the table and more effective things than some people here are either aware of or willing to acknowledge. True panic stasis. Okay, can I, I want to jump in here because I, I want to, um, I, I was actually trying to understand what Red X says. You know, as a liberal, I think it's really important to try and reach out to the other side and try and, you know, connect with them and understand their point. I think what he was getting at is the topic is specifically about Biden's response and oh, how thanks, it will be Wendell better B. or different than it's not Trump's. it's not hard to be and honest, i but... think i think this goes true for that's part of my strategy you know this uh no matter what whether you're democrat or probably corvus whether it, i don't know fucking i think Bill, fableism um, also reached Bill out to him Weld or whatever it was actually no ended slouching up being here in the primary i got good posture coming in with the vaccine ready this goes for any leader of any country who's taking over when there's already a vaccine ready and you're already able to you know get ready to, you know, do mass distribution, you're obviously going to be able to handle it better, especially when we already have the facts and, like, we know that things like masking and social distancing I've got good is posture. Important. What are you talking about? When we've yeah, already had science to, counter, to study uh, counterparts. how this disease works and how to and prevent it. he seems it. much calmer this but time, so maybe he learned something. I do think that, generally speaking, Redneck is getting at the point that if Biden was the one who was president for four years and then it was Trump, this wouldn't look any different. Now, I don't... A hundred percent. All the things. That but, I just but, 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 but I'm no. I I'm trying to reach out. Uh, all right, to the all right. Go, go, go ahead. I apologize. His, his his point is that if it was Biden president for four years and then Trump was coming in, the situation would look no different, possibly worse. I think that's his point. Good news is I you can fix your it. posture it's a bad easily. Point. Yeah, it's a bad. I, point. I, I disagree it with it. I, I right now we have over four hundred thousand deaths, and it's going to be inevitable that we're going to get five hundred thousand. No amount of masking and social distancing, I do think, is really going to prevent us from hitting that milestone. I hey, think that's this awesome, would though, still Conrad, look though. different if it was yeah, a Democrat right for four years and then yes. a Republican. I think it'd probably be like two hundred fifty to three hundred thousand deaths. I think we, we could talk about that after. Soon. We could talk Shadows, about posture why afterwards. Say that, though, because all the things that I just mentioned, they're things that should have been done. I'll talk about the posture in the in the Q and A after. Like these brainiac ideas that you don't have to be a rocket scientist to come up with them. They're there they're actually very sensible, and you can see how they would be effective. It's good to I'm, correct I mean, your posture no, if you can. We don't have a crystal ball, but those things probably would have vastly reduced I deaths did. if they were put in from the beginning. I actually didn't hear your point, so I was Hi. actually talking to my chat. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, then okay. there we go. All right. Well, go ahead, uh, Connor, and Can, then Connor. Connor. Hol Holy shit! And Spoon, I'm sorry, but I I gotta go. I'll I'll, I'll try to be quick. So so basically, just to I, I have to I have to back up Demon Mommy even more here. Okay. So, um, basically, it's like, not, we we can we can talk about who to blame. This is where I'll back up Redneck. Okay. Fucking, like focusing on Trump. He's a fucking piece of shit. He fucked a bunch of shit up. We're, we're not getting anywhere. And the more interesting conversation is, how do we Great make sure that shit like right this... There. Hold on. Hold on. No, no. I, this fucking, was let's joke. make sure... Mother... All right. Let, I'm going. Right, go, go, let me go. Go, 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 go man. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, God. I've missed this. <laughs> so, so... Getting spicy. What you have to have 
is you have to you have to think about infrastructure and how it's going to work. So let's talk about one thing specifically with housing. So I don't think like the solution is mass public housing that's provided for free. Yeah, public. I think there's a whole bunch of problems there that we could debate on another fucking panel. But at the same time, eviction moratoriums, mortgage moratoriums, financial backing for the banks that are. Oh, uh, the but this is only topic one. No Somnio static. Their fucking mortgage. We haven't gotten to this topic two yet. Fucking coming in. Fucking uh, more than two. You know, more than two thousand or four thousand dollars over a year. <laughs> For stimulus, the reinforcement of unemployment insurance, all that kind of shit could Topic have been one. done, and it wasn't done. And so, like, th there's all of these like structural things that number we two is going to be where the spice sure comes. People weren't getting fucked over, and we effectively three didn't hours do it at usually. All. And I think sometimes it's a little longer. The Democrats. Hey, and the thank Republicans you so much for the super are chat. Fiscal conservatives. They have a different mindset about monetary policy. They have a different uh, uh, mindset about fiscal policy. I don't know if we're actually moving into the age of MMT. Adam where Flores. I don't think Redneck has thought about it that much. I think he just anymore. mostly reacts but, but immediately. Like, there are to be completely honest. Thank you for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Save lives. And then here's the other thing. Here's the. Connor points is backing me up. He has been. How do you, as a cop, because I was a former cop, right? So somebody's been prohibited from going to work. <laughs> they can no longer work. If they do work, they, they, they're exposing themselves to disease. Somebody who is fucking basically can hurt or kill themselves while they're working. And then they're unable to pay their bills and they're being evicted. And then I'm asked to show up and forcibly remove a family that can no longer afford their home out into the street. Even if the government, I'll shut up in a second. Even if the government provided like hotels for all these people to going to, we're, sh we're shooting ourselves in the foot by having no infrastructure in place. And it's like, it, it, it's fuck. Like we're fucking this up and we're gonna fuck it up can, again. Hold on. Fine. Can I get in any time soon? something to me way, way earlier. Hold on. I, and I never got a chance to address it because it went through everybody. Um, yeah, the, the thing about California where you said like, oh, California had a problem where uh, like, well, California had like some of the most massive lockdowns and whatever. And then now we have these ridiculous numbers and we're like the epicenter. Um, it's really interesting because in the beginning, California wasn't the epicenter. California was one of the fastest people to respond to COVID. And California had relatively low numbers, considering the fact that California happens to have one of the most dense populations, is the largest population. In the yeah, that's country. true. It happens to be analogy, yep. uh, one of the most, uh, it has, happens to be visited by the most um, travelers, by, by, by the most um, um, foreigners, um, like for, so for all of those reasons, California should have been the epicenter. California is it. California has more more factors that should be making it the biggest epicenter of, of the country. Um, it, it and New York, um, and California Maybe. and New York's uh, uh, California That'd be and cool. New York's um, uh, infection rate were were drastically different. So if anything, that's I think that's that's more. That points to the fact that yes, the that 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 lowering these numbers That'd be cool. um, responding we'll differently see. could have like greatly impacted everything. And also, really quickly, the reason why we even were talking about this is because ca uh, Counterpoints made a point where he was basically saying like, oh yeah, no matter maybe what, no matter who was in office, this is what was going to happen. Which of course put a lot of us um, made a lot of us want to respond in a way where we're like, wait, wait, no, 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 like that's not what happened, and that's what got us talking about Trump. Trump I'm excited for this, the second uh, topic because I know it's going to be bloody. Yeah. Spoon, I'll do a five second response. And I, prime. I, uh, uh, go, 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 go. Do the five second thing and then we go to red. Um yeah, sure. Quick. Yeah, I wasn't say I wasn't saying that you can't control certain factors. I was just saying that there's some things that you can't control. And and, and that's literally my entire point. The I don't inauguration like that's wild, but we can talk about it later on. Yeah, it's gonna be wild. Red, red, sorry. Oh, red. Sorry. Sorry. Red. Sorry. Red. sorry, red. Sorry, red. Um, I appreciate the steel man argument that was being said on my behalf. That was completely don't not like him, what Amber. I was saying point about our asses being in the wind with Connor was the fact it, it, we don't have enough history other than Trump being in office and how he fucked it up. Okay. He fucked it up. The point goes back to simple math is what I want to ask everybody because uh, demon mama kind of said, okay, well, all these people that are food, uh, shelter, clothing, like she incorporated it all as well. She said that there's a bigger picture, but you didn't mention all of the families that are affected. I think Connor was trying to bring that up about the families that have their own businesses or the families that have had their jobs taken away or the extended uh, psychological and mental health problems that we're going to be facing and all the costs associated with that. There's tons of ancillary costs, not just affected by the, the people pre-infection, but post-infection. And those that have never been infected by this are also being, uh, you know, they're a part of this big economic problem. So the, the question I want to ask, and so we can have at least a baseline, is if this virus has a 99.97% survival rate, that's from CDC, 
If it's not, please oh, please no. correct me where, where I'm wrong, but I'm reading this? the CDC's website. Oh, no. Where I'm going with this is, where. look, it's real simple, guys. It is real simple. What can you do now and what can Biden do in the future? Because we've been told there's a new strain coming. And just like Connor said, our ass is in the fucking wind. We've already been hit with a hurricane. And if you lived on the Gulf Coast, you understand you could pit, you could keep putting sandbags up, but it's going to get washed right back a fuck away. The, we have vaccines where we're not even talking about the side effects. Um, a report oh, no. was just released on the 15th um, about the side effects of some of these vaccines. Are, are we're starting to have actual numbers, oh, percentage no. numbers. All matters. Okay, this is all. These oh no's matter. Okay. Listen, like listen all, I can I can answer this really matters. easily. I know this was directed at me. Yeah, look, okay. like first of all, I'm not going to engage. That's directed at you. It, you literally said my name and said that yeah, you actually literally said my but name. That doesn't so. mean I directed the whole comment uh, at you. Okay, well You're that's fine, that but apparently you thought I was. Um so uh yeah, uh I can answer this in a couple of ways. Um it's really funny because like um Republicans especially and right wingers, Trump supporters, people who wanna like, you know, deep throat donald trump's cock all the time um those types of people love to talk about how oh the economy is is really bad the lockdowns are bad for the economy well guess what if we'd actually just done one one lockdown the economy would have been like this for like one month and then we would have had an entire year of us returning back to actually being able to do things we wouldn't had with the, the fucking theater business is under now the restaurant industry is destroyed forever as far as we can see so Going forward, what we need to do is we need to realize that the economy is reliant on people. <gasps> Imagine Ooh. that. Economies wow. are made up of people. And guess what? Workers are really the people who truly power the economy. We have so much wealth in our borders. We are one of the wealthiest nations on earth. So next time, instead of having a pile of, of potatoes that are rotting in the middle of Tacoma, Washington, why don't we have the, go the, the, the government go hire a couple trucks, scoop up all those potatoes, bag them up, and go give them away for free? Then there are people who have food and aren't starving and then aren't going into the hospital and having to be taken care of by the hospital and dying there. Free potatoes. There's a, what's that? Yeah, free potatoes. I don't care. Anything. Any of these would have been cheaper than what we ch – cheaper and smarter and would have resulted in less. We chose the worst, stupidest, most ideologically poisoned route for all of this. And going forward, what we should do is we should embrace the ability to save human lives that we can do that we have the ability to do it and we should and guess what those lives will go on to be productive healthy happy in the future and there'll be less crime as a result imagine that taking care of your society and not just finding every single possible way to try and to defend donald trump for the rest of your life is actually a really good way to do it and what we have to do is the dead opposite of austerity and even first first even more so the de the dead opposite of anything that donald trump um has has pushed forward also one other thing that we touched on but we breezed by a little bit i want to mention this before i finish up my portion which is that um we have a, another problem in the way that our government is is run and we saw this with the fact that the um co coronavirus task force was ultimately handed to jared kushner who as a matter of public record, doled out um, health contracts to his friends who had no history in in in, in healthcare. This is we. This should not be possible in a functioning democracy. You should not be able to give the position of look overseeing a pandemic to your family member who then gives it to his frat buddies as business as lucrative business contra contracts that are hid in the small text. That is completely completely and utterly ridiculous and that's only possible in a hyper uh uh hyper um capitalistic um system that we have okay right. so yeah so we're gonna go into closing statements we already went long on this topic so uh we're gonna close the statements yeah keep it under a minute thank you all right uh spoon uh, yeah so i think all this conjecture about like what about Trump? No, 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 What no, about no. alternate reality Biden in the past four years? How would have that gone? I think that's fucking useless. Like, who fucking cares? What, what, what would have happened right? if alternate reality right? Biden was actually in control? I don't care. Right? It doesn't matter. That's not the fucking reality I live in. Um, but fact is, Trump yeah, did a fucking is. bad job. It's really simple. Will Biden do a better job? I think his plans look pretty good. Not gonna yeah, lie. Better. Will he come through on them? The better. Let's fucking hope. I think that's. I think that's about it. I think it's about all I got. Matt, gotcha. boil him, mash right. him, stick um, him in a stew. True. 
Um, first of all, I just really want to give props to con uh, counterpoints for uh, saying something to the effect of, uh, I'm going to back up Redneck and then proceeding to say, yeah, Trump was a piece of shit. He was a total motherfucker, idiot. Uh, that, was, that, that, that was just beautiful. Um, but um, yeah, Redneck, were you, I mean, maybe like Shadows, and no, no disrespect to Shadows, it's fine if you didn't happen to hear me when I was reading those things, but were you not listening when I mentioned all of the things that, that, that I that I did the, the because because you know what uh, more 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 than the fact that I think that those things will be effective, uh, you should be neon liberalism. Oh my that god, those things were not implemented it's over the name. course of Trump's presidency. They are, they they are when you look when you think about them, they're they're pretty common sense things and things that easily could have been done, and they they should very well make an impact. I don't see why they they wouldn't. Um, and then the last thing that I want to say is just that I back up demon mama's points i don't want to make it sound like i'm like some like tremendous biden stand here um i i'm not i, I so totally um agree with her with like just about everything she's saying but uh, at the same time i just think that that there's a little bit more to what biden is doing that that we didn't discuss fully that um will be beneficial and they're good steps that that uh hopefully like um uh, sneaky debate man or spoon um yes the uh, hope like he said true thank uh, you Kuro they will come to also pass. let me go check those so, um i'll leave it at that those uh super okay. chats uh next we'll we chose the bare to, minimum uh, cdc right projected now. one million true adam we did choose the worst uh you have to okay, be so 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 restrained uh, to a certain degree until it gets out of hand y'all have me yep mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Vadim, I don't know what you think I didn't hear or did hear. But I just know my name's come out of your mouth every time you've spoke uh, on this panel so far. So hey, whatever you need to get out, go ahead and get it out after I'm done talking. Secondly, Demon Mama's uh, point about her hatred for Trump and how everything is fucked up and Biden hopefully will do it better. I thought you were an anarchist, but maybe I'm wrong. Her points re, uh, saying that Trump's a fucking idiot and all this other shit. He didn't vote for him. So, yeah, that's pretty funny. I mean, go figure. He would compliment the things that I actually said he fucked up on. Okay. None of Nobody addressed it. Nobody addressed the question directly. And yes, I think Connor did. and me both tried to. We said we'll find out after the first 100 days because realistically the only plan that, that Biden has is he's got some, he's got some vaccines. He's got a plan that's already existing. He wants to put back in some more rolled, uh, some more uh, lockdowns and force masking, which is what Demon Mama says she wanted. And she says it could all be fixed in 30 days if we just all mask. No, I think it that's could what she have said. been. It could have so been. So here's my, here's could my have question. Been. That's been done in the world, and they still had problems, and they still had deaths. No death is warranted. I'm with you. It's COVID. I got it. It's a pandemic. Got it. He sucks. This isn't the He's first, too stupid the last. to put conversation and together. We got to put a cost on this. And I think we're spending more so money to try dumb. to save something that has a higher survival rate, and we're going to lose more in the long run than if we would just let it run its course. If it's not, if this is, if this is all just a regular no, disease, I have to, and it has that, the, it has a survival rate, and we have a vaccine for it already, and <sighs> You're it's, an idiot. people are saying, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's not like the flu, but our flu numbers are comparable, and we're going to have this like the flu now from now on. This is a new part of our cultural psyche, is the, is the COVID virus. I mean, we got to talk about it. You have to address it. There's no government. Name one government out there that's prevented uh, deaths from happening. Name one. Vietnam. One out of ten. Bad take. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, fanatic. Saying. New Zealand, Vietnam. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Sorry. Someone in my chat said something that was really, really smart, and I'm just going to go ahead and uh, take take a quote from that. He basically said that. Yep, South Korea, New Zealand, Vietnam. Um, convincing yep. a bunch of people that a virus Cuba. doesn't exist is like literally helping it spread. And that's what Trump did. So with that being said, there's literally no possible way that Biden can do worse than him. Like it's literally impossible. China, um, yeah. But, but um, ultimately, yeah, I, I think there's a lot of things that are going to happen now that'll like maybe um, actually deal with this. That'll that'll be in a better put us in a better position. Um, I think that that we the fact that we won't have like an anti-vaxxer be like you know the freaking head of the freaking White House. Um, you know, like, like being the president of the United States, I think that's going to be pretty freaking huge, right? Because now we're not going to have to worry about um, when it comes to this vaccine, I think that can help allay some of the fears that people have had about uh, the vaccine.
vaccine. I think simply dun, dun, getting dun, democratic dun, messaging, dun. I mean, get, getting um, getting getting positive messaging from a Democrat president, I think is just going to do a lot to offset some of the damage that was already being done, like in causing some of the fears for certain people not to take the vaccine. So I think that's going to be <laughs> um, obviously some of the other policies he's talked about have been pretty great um, as far as like um, unemployment support. Um, as far as like the agents and small business, he didn't so, need his yeah, vegetables. I, I, he's I a think, dunce. Yeah, I agree with you. He's a dunderhead. Situation. Um, he's a, I, it, a it dotard. It must be really freaking nice to um, it, it tanky like demon mama. Nah. To, um, do all sorts of insane no tanky, amounts of damage, but and then listen, I can give credit where credit is due to the tanky states. Yeah. Instead of them actually being confronted, I've always been a commie or being held accountable. It's dotard. Always, no, no, no. Let's just move forward. Let's just move forward. And it's like, yeah, I don't know how we move forward. Like we're still in. I am a commie, mommy. It's true. I am a commie by denying it. Like, I mean, like what happened to Herman Cain was absolutely insane. And then they just like literally denied that anybody died from it at many of Trump rallies. It was insane, bro. Like, I, I just don't. I, I, I think it's it's nice to be able to live in a world where you're always looking forward anytime you make a mistake and then always wanted to hyper focus on every, on, on every other mistake that someone Ooh, else makes. shiver. It's a little yeah, chilly in here. Um, uh, shadows. Looks like I'm um, going last. Okay, so to respond to Dancing Spoon's point. Looks like we got um, a newcomer, Smug uh, I understand why he's saying, like, this is not the world we live in, but I was just trying to. Yeah, I'm a little chilly. Um, read the question another way because i though. think the heart of the question I don't know, is smug how will biden be different from trump and i was trying to reach out to redneck and like have some conjecture with him didn't really happen there but oh well um but i agree with you that's, Aww, not the world that's cute I, and comrade I anthony isn't a point in talking about that i feel like this whole time we were just bringing like three or four different fucking interpretations of the question we didn't really get anywhere or even get to the heart of the question i feel like uh, which Watch is this. a little disappointing, but I think I made myself pretty clear on this issue in the sense that, you know, uh, I think there are things we can definitely do, could have done better, and I think will be done better once Biden is in office. Um, I, I really don't know what else to say for that, except for the fact that I feel like this was, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. Creationist cat. Um, we have a little like a uh, feedback or something. Can I come your uh, your mic? Really? Uh, yeah, it's a tiny, tiny bit, but um, it's like a static that happens a little bit. Um, so yeah, just work on that. Um, all right, uh, going to counterpoints. Yeah. So ba basically, what I was backing Redneck about on, I, I really wasn't trying to mean. What what I was trying to focus on was the fact that like. Anti we, we can talk anti about the past. We can talk about where true, we fucked up. And we can Adam, do that true. kind of as like an after action report in order to figure out how to handle things better, which I think was probably like the most important thing that was brought up in this conversation. Um, so I wasn't, um, but but I was also saying like, you bring up the past so you can focus on the future, not so you can blame people. That doesn't it doesn't bring anybody back to life. Um, it doesn't fucking fix any of the problems that we've had. It doesn't fix any of the problems that we're facing now. Um, but we do need to do an after action report where we're just like, hey, what the fuck? Like, we fucked this up hard. Um, how do we make sure this shit never happens again? And then this is where I'm going to drag Demon Mama in with me. Um, we're not asking the right institutional level questions. I don't agree with the assessment that if we just had a milk toast centrist Democrat, we could have avoided all this bullshit. I, I very much doubt it. Yep, um, I, I think agree. that there's real Couldn't institutional agree security level issues that we face as a country. And housing security, food security, and medical security are the three major things that you could drag from this. So with uh, medical security, well-paid, well-funded, well-organized universal healthcare would solve that fucking problem. When you're talking about food security, you're basically talking about the federal government in times of crisis, instead of letting food rot in the field, like Demon Mama alluded to, we prop up the food security industry and yep. anything that is being going based to a right now listen goes sometimes to a food bank. that's how you that's how you deal with food security yep and then when you're talking about housing security a from a, a capitalist perspective a mixed economy capitalist perspective you put a moratorium on mortgages moratorium on evictions and Face you extend turn, that yeah. out as long as you need in a pandemic you guys are focusing on the here and now and that's totally fine but we also need to focus on what if we had something that was as infectious as covid and it had the lethality rate of Ebola. What would we do? And yep. right now, yep. regardless of whether or not it was a Democrat or a Republican, I think we would shit the bed. We would have so many people die unnecessarily. 
we would have riots in the streets, we would have people starving, and effectively it would destroy our society. I think Red Nexon so is fifty. While conceding that this is a fucked up moment in history, I'll wrap 50. it up. We need to ask those deeper questions of how do 49. we secure America huh. if things are even worse than they are now. Let me tell you about socialism, buddy. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> get get fucked, Spoon. <laughs> Amen, Mama. Yeah, um, I'm just going to take a, a moment to list a couple of nations who've done significantly better than us. Uh, Cuba, China, Vietnam, South Korea, uh, as far as I know, North Korea, um, Japan, um, actually almost every single nation on the planet. But it's interesting that a lot of the uh, highly and oft demonized uh, uh, co hard communist quote unquote countries um actually kicked our ass on this and um i think there's a lot of uh there's a lot of room between our response and their response where we could have picked somewhere in between and done significantly better we picked just about the worst and uh i would actually like to go one step further and say that the best way that we could stop this sort of thing from happening in the future is to make republicanism and uh and the trumpism uh completely politically irrelevant this shouldn't we should never accept uh anyone like the modern republican party the republican party in its current state mm. is an embarrassment that is holding us back from every other possible world and here's the thing it's amazing because and i've said this on my stream a couple times and people might redneck might laugh about this but i mean let's be real we, we all know where redneck's mind is um the uh the the fact of the matter um is that the the uh, republican yes, party is. and trump excuse me it's my closing statement i know it's hard to understand rules um but uh but yeah um the republican party is holding back every other possible person it's not even like right versus left it's republicanism which are basically like pseudo monarchists who just want to install trump as a god emperor forever those people are holding back every other possible society they could possibly be from my ideal um anarcho uh, communist paradise to your so social democracy are all being prevented by people like the Republican Party who are so unbelievably pathologically incapable of thought, of, of empathy, of, of human processing that they will just march straight into a pandemic, killing, without wearing masks, killing 400,000 Americans and then laughing about it like Redneck is right now. Redneck is basically the poster child of what the Republican Party represents in modern America. So I think if we could have less people like that, we'd be doing a lot better. And that's one of the best ways to and fix As I've told you before, you are the Trump of the trans world. It's beautiful. Uh, oh yeah, bring it on. Bring on my trans status. Sure, you wanna, is, do you wanna fixate on uh, on anything else? Do you wanna like, uh, I don't know. What have you done in the past? Oh, you've done a lot of things no. in the past. Maybe we should uh, go there. Oh, tits and ass, no, tits and stop, ass stop, and Trump. Stop. You're the Trump of trans. That's it. Okay, that's yeah, a little no, weird. No, 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 no. How many bingo, how many bingo hey, spots was we've that? we got a handsome new person here, Smug. Smug, distraction, please. I'll be right back. I gotta yeah, go pee. No, I, I Enjoy that one. Shit, I'll be right back. Man. Like I showed up right when the COVID shit was going down, and that shit like where that I'm, like I work at a pharmacy within a fucking hospital, with so I'm like heavily linked to this shit, and I got motherfuckers saying that we should doubt the COVID vaccine and talking about the side effects, who I'm sure they don't know shit about it. Um, so to put this out there, go get your fucking COVID vaccine. So with the first round, it's not too bad. You're sore for the second round. That is the heavy hitter, or so it's called, where you will get more flu-like symptoms. Like, like I received, I'm, I'm a hefty boy, and but besides that, and I got like body aches and kind of had a light fever. However, though, that is what to expect. And this reaction, you also get with other shots too. Like for example, older people, 50 and 60, when they get their shingles shot, they get these same types of symptoms. So this isn't some fucking off to the blue this is going to turn you into a fucking like zombie or some shit you know like this is this is otherwise normal shit that you should expect from the covid and would you rather have like aches and pains for a day or would you rather be fucking dead or have some chronic illness that currently fucking cripples you because like as a, a lot of people like to cite the okay sorry sorry i won't go too far I, no no yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, i, I want to overstep I, I, oh, sorry, I want to I, hear more from, from someone who is connected to, like, you know, the medical profession, uh, honestly. So so go on, man, especially since uh, you just got here. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't mean to 
yeah, take no, it. unfortunately, I mean, the problem is like, uh, we're that then, and I got yeah, yeah, yeah. to wanna... Okay, 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 okay. You're, you're, you're the boss okay. of the prime. I, I yeah, yeah. No problem. No, 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 no issue. All right, so topic two. Um, on Wednesday, uh, President elect Biden won. Did I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On Wednesday, President elect Biden will be inaugurated under the tie security for such an event in history. American intelligence agencies have reported that extremist groups are likely to either make an attempt on D.C. or state capitals around the country. I do expect that under these conditions, the inaugur inauguration will go smoothly. And what about uh, for the year to come? Do you uh, predict uh, that there will be more attacks on your government, on our government, or law enforcement by the right wing? Will Trump encourage it? Uh, and is there any way to return to the previous status quo in the mid to long term? Uh, and again, another uh, question for our good friend counter, uh, Counterpoints. Um, in fact, why don't we start with him, Counterpoints? Yeah, so um, I, I love this I'm question. Um, I actually liked I'm what back. you did it's with it. It's about to get um, fucking wild. That I, I didn't put in as many uh, bullet points. Uh, effectively, I think I'm that back. Uh, the back, inauguration pro th This is my prediction, and I hope to God that I'm not going to eat crow on it. Uh, my prediction is that the, there will be tight enough security oh, that basically thank you, trash. Boys, you don't have to. Um, I'm all my show is always free. Um, authoritarian right wing people, bad like, optics, like all those Whoops. assholes walking around, uh, militia members. I'm hoping that they'll leave the Capitol alone effectively, and that there won't be an attempt on uh, Joe Biden's life because it basically mm. you take care of yourself first, office, trash. But thank you. Shit. If you got don't the money it, to spare, fucking, I'll appreciate it. Of course, when you're listening to this podcast. Mm. Um, and then, so basically, I think the Let me see if I miss anything. Through. And then whether or not Brian right, is pro malarkey, whether or not agreed, to Adam is purely, purely, um, it, it's determined by the economic and social lay, landscape that we have in the next six months to a year. So if the if the vaccines roll out, we can open up the economy. Oh, um, thank get you again work, for both those donors. Things Adam. start uh, flourishing again by the end of 2021. Then I think we're going to be good to go, and you'll actually see the right wing dissipate. If authoritarian measures are put in if uh we, we're still doing lockdowns if we can't get the vaccine oh. out competently if the stimulus is we'll not see. coming out and it's not sufficient to meet people's needs then desperate angry people who can't work and can't feed their families will do some crazy shit and well, thank you so much about. shadows um okay so what your uh from what your answers sound like it seems like there's a bit of a continuation of what we were talking about before but you know i i really like this question and i do want to focus on like you know this idea of is it possible to return to the status oh, well, quo prospect and take I care think, of yourself first you know i do think the inauguration will go smoothly um i don't i think that uh we will be able to properly thwart attacks in dc and on state capitals i think at least i hope maybe i'm being way too much of an optimist but i think the fbi and law enforcement learned their lesson that we need to be on platforms like gavin parlor where we need to fucking like see these crazy right wingers and how they're organizing because we we knew that like you know they were organizing shit that was going to happen oh in this DC is going to be really good parlor. like we actively knew this um so maybe I'm too optimistic there. I do think the right wing is definitely gone much more radicalized, and it will be a Can't concern be on for years no more. to come. Uh, I don't see a return to the status quo, but I think the best thing we can do is, uh, you know, platforms doing what they did with Trump and getting rid of them. You know, making sure we push people off of these platforms who are going to, you know, radicalize people further and cause more disinformation uh i i think these i are agree adam true have, extremely uh, good point extremely good point and i think they need to be more aggressive in counting in countering misinformation and trying to prevent radicalization of the right okay go ahead uh thank you for that and then go ahead demon mama yeah. Um, will the inauguration go smoothly? Uh, I mean, I don't think it has, right? I mean, the the fact that we have more troops currently uh, stationed and quartered in Washington, D.C. than we do in any other country, um, in any country on the earth, um, is um, pretty concerning um, and, and upsetting. Um, I mean... I don't know at this point. I mean, I I had hoped that the right would be um, 
you know, s sane enough, uh, and I say this not because I have any affinity for the right, but because of the individual dupes who've gotten pulled into this right-wing uprising that's going on in our country right now. I don't think they deserve to be harmed in the way that many of them were. Um, but uh, I hope that they're smart enough this time to not actually show up to the Capitol. Because if they do, it is not going to go well. And it is going to be very, very bad if they do. Now, I don't know if they will or won't. But what we have right now, we in fact, we, we went over this on my stream earlier today there is um widespread information of not not just um uh, not just the rhetoric uh pushing for ac action on the 20th but it's more intense than it was on leading up to the 6th the only de difference is that they don't have donald trump himself cheering them on at this point because of some action by tech companies. Um, I think that the inauguration, that the fact that we have to put this many troops into our capital in order to have a smooth, a smooth transition of power, which is not what we have, um, shows that our, our democracy has already been undermined in an incredible way. Um, and I think that's really, um, really unfortunate. Um, again, I hope that this, um, goes by without any, um, violence, but again, uh, I don't know. I don't know that they're if the, that these people are thinking uh, correctly. So yeah, uh, basically, I don't know. It's really hard to tell. But I'll be streaming it on Wednesday. So <laughs> a nice plug there, uh, buddy, uh, Vadim. Okay. Um, well, you know, I if, uh, Trump whether he'll be better over the course of the coming years is a uh, wild card. Um, I could totally see him not being better. Uh, however, I think he has certain incentives uh, to be better because he just may be facing litigation, stuff like that. So um, I, I think if he's better, it will be for that reason. <laughs> um, will the inauguration go smoothly? Well, Trump had three doors down play a, a, a Smash Mouth cover at their at, at, at his fucking inauguration. So um, in, in terms of, of, of like the, the, the taste level of his inauguration, I, I, I think that'll go better. I know that's not what we're talking about, really. Um, will will um, over the course of the next year? Yeah, I, I truly think. Well, uh, regardless I of have what yes. Over the course I haven't of the listened to all of them yet. It's on my listen list, but I listened to some of it. Yeah, I love Robert Evans. Cray cray. Uh, there are a lot of people in the Republican Party, um, uh, you know, who make guys on the corner of Times Square who talk to their shoes. Yeah, Robert Evans like um, paradigms of has helped me a lot. So, um, and 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 the fact of the matter is, With is my that coverage. if you look at studies. The, uh, generally different parties who are or, or parties who are not in power tend to increase hey, their hey thank you so much ron skfc uh, really happy to have you and all they, they basically get also thank you so much adam i agree it's kind of ridiculous power. and these uh, a, a very yeah, large Bosch, branch of this group what am i gonna say Bosch sends like people over here and y'all love my content like wow i want my daddy president and 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 barging into the Capitol already they're already doing this so I just oh really think Rosie it's, that's it's, wild it's a safe prediction you know I'm not a soothsayer here but I, I I think yeah we'll probably see an uptick in in like machine gun fire oh, it makes me happy. in random Walmarts and targets my content's and, a little different than Bosch um, but and just uh, I think people like, like that. it it's not gonna be fun but you know it is what Yay. it is and we're well that makes me happy it. I stream at a different time than Vosh, um, too, so you never have to miss. Did I already do? Yeah, oh, okay, right next. Okay, so oh, I heard a Zionist so much. Wow, so much kind words. Thank you so much. For censorship, I've heard a transgender person who is fucking oppressive problems, people oppressing her rights, um, claiming about censoring people and shutting them down because of their beliefs. And now I just heard another person spend about, I don't know, five minutes of blah, blah, Trump this, Trump that. Um, yeah, they're going to be a bunch of violent people because they are Trump. There's 25,000 troops in D.C. because yeah. a riot happened. Damn. That's an overplay. It's overzealous. We have we have uh, right-wing conspiracy oh, that theorist sense, people Prince, yeah. that are going to take advantage to of the situation and go to create martyrdom. Um, hmm. I don't believe that. I don't believe Watch that. This. So y'all can this live in that really world. Fun. I, for one, I'm going to be sitting here um, playing a video game, most likely. And at 12 noon, we'll probably get banged by everybody on my D my Discord DM saying, "Hey, 
you have to come on my stream and say Biden is your president. So if you want any enjoyment from a Republican side or if you want any unity from any of the conservatives on the right, that's Clown. about all you're going to get. Are you having an orgy with your... That's exactly like, why we have this bullshit. By, by you all. have TDS. We mm. have TD, you have TDS. Uh, oh, okay. You have, okay, you have TDS, combo. and you think that we. You're good. You have okay. TDS, and you think that we slowly growing. You think that McMuffin. we are fucking cult members. So okay. either way, great. I can sit here and say whatever, but it doesn't great, matter. Great, You're not great, listening. Great, great, you guys great, didn't great, answer great, any great, of the questions. Great, it's just Trump's bad. And right, we're moving on. Next. Please, thank you. Sorry, we are still doing introductions. We gotta be uh, kind to the rest of the people we're here. All right, fanatic. You can do this, trash. You can do it. I believe in Sorry, you. Sorry, my mic just came back on. Okay, there we go. Well, at least as yeah, many as so, you can. You got um, this. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm actually really, really terrified about it. I do think there's going to be pre, uh, there's going to be some violence. Fanatic um, is speaking the at the moment. Going to be. Uh, I don't think the violence will be necessarily at the nation's capital, but um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of reports about this thing happening. The same kind of reports that were there uh, for the capital, uh, the the, the, the capital riot on, on January 6th. We knew it was going to happen, um, but people just didn't respond because. Um, I think there's a report now that the government, um, I mean, um, the Homeland Security was more focused on, I think uh, they said immigrant, immigrants at the time than they were to the Capitol, despite all the warnings and having all the Yikes. information that something was likely to happen there. Um, there were like uh, freaking senators and, and uh, people, you know, Congress congressmen that were like literally telling their children and stuff, this might be the last time I see you. So there was already this air of something about to happen. And it's even like, it's- Damn, it's, good combo. Like, escalated even further now so yeah i think it's a realistic uh it's a realistic concern um i'm concerned uh and yeah i think something's gonna happen and it's 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 just i can't 20 is a good combo right now where we're like literally having they're they are off screen that, yeah, life must exist going, or, or uh, they don't have a camera so i think there's gonna probably be a coordinated attack probably around the rest of the country in different capitals probably i don't know that's what i've read reports i mean i've read some reports that said things like that um, federal yeah, government supports that they're just they're going yep. right now so it's it's actually ridiculous. Spoon. Okay, so <clears throat> I would have liked to have gone first on this one, but I'm actually going last. And so I'm going to make the obligatory statement. The first one to both sides. Okay. Oops. No, don't. No, I okay. Agree. We didn't hear it. <laughs> you cut oh, out. Fuck's sake. Okay, the first one. Thank you, Adam. The don't first worry. One to I'll, both I'll, sides I'll hit on this. this. Don't worry. I'll get loses. you covered. I got okay, you covered. You lose. The first person to mention leftist violence, you lose. <laughs> Good game, all right? That's it. You've lost. Your credibility has just fallen through the fucking floor. Good game. Secondly, the inauguration, I think it's probably safe. Let's let, let's think about this. There's 10,000 soldiers there. It's not even a public 25,000, actually. Like, Biden's going to be behind... Like, like somebody... Oh, my God. Unless the, unless the Proud Boys uh, have got, like, Tom Cruise in their ranks. I don't know if you saw Vosh versus Suspect Sushi earlier. Um... They're not the smartest of people, the Proud Boys. I don't think they're going to be missioning impossibling themselves into the fucking, like, the inauguration chamber, like, dodging lasers and shit and fucking falling into And then, you know, they assassinate Biden or something like that. I think that's probably a little far-fetched. Um, in terms of violence in America, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but you've kind of got a big problem with this just as standard. True, though. True dancing spoon. Oh, fuck's sake. Is my internet going again? Uh, keep keep pushing through. Yeah, it's pathetic, um, Puff. I know it's so wrap sad. Up soon, but keep keep pushing through. It's pathetic. Probably lost a stream. Yep. Nope. Never mind. All frozen. Okay. All right. Smug. Ah. <laughs> uh, all righty. So let's see. Do you expect that under these conditions the inauguration will go smoothly? Um, in terms of the fucking mass militaristic force that we have there, like, will someone take a shot at Biden? Probably not. Hopefully not. Holy um, shit. But will there That's probably wild, be like, fights and various brawls in the mall area? In, That's in terrifying. DC? I would not be surprised if there Good is. Good thing they're sending the, the reminders at least. Results. Now, you know, when I referenced the pot, when I referenced the um, attempted attack on Biden, like I say probably, you know, because the group that are engaging in these activities have shown that they are going to this next level type shit. Of, he does sound a little like Dunky, doesn't he? Breaking into Capitol buildings. Um, and the next part of that question of like, for what about the year to come? I mean, we have shown that through Let's even the Trump look. years, when these Trump supporters were getting what they fucking wanted, they were still increasing in right wing extremism, and the attacks were oh, I skyrocketing. Can't see it, and hate crimes I can't were see it for some reason. Up. And this was during an administration can you, can you where they had the guy they me? wanted, 
and the administration they wanted. Damn it, so this Timmy. idea that they are going to now like go down and not get even more radical or go even more out of their way to engage in this violence. Black Lives Matter would oh, be awesome. a fanciful concept. Hey, and that's it's awesome. A, and, and it would contradict what they we do. see in reality through our statistical data that we have. Um, and to the question, do I predict more attacks oh, on he's, government he or law enforcement by the right wing? I kind of answer that, but I would rephrase this to more of attacks in general, because as we know, generally speaking, true. the yeah, um, true, right-wing true, extremists Adam. or right-wing yeah, people with you on that. are generally their fucking bootlicker motherfuckers. They, they, they love the military yeah, yeah, and they that's love also the cops, yep. generally speaking, except when they want to like, force isn't the only thing. more extreme levels of government. So I think though, like, while we may not see like an increase of attacks on like law enforcement officials, we will definitely see the um, attacks on the other in groups, so minorities and immigrants. Um, one tr- will Trump encourage it? One hundred fucking percent. Anyone who says Trump I don't will know not what the fucking encourage this shit is fucking naive, and they have no fucking clue what the political landscape has been for the past four years. What we'll get is the comical double speak. For example, I'll cite his capital address. Okay, I'll, I'll cite his capital address where he says, "Oh, gay guys, be peaceful." But remember, the election was stolen, and you know, and we should probably do something about that later. But be peaceful now. And so this idea that um, that we can like return to a status quo is very unlikely. Oh, we lost spoon. Now, can we start Damn. like? Should we really put in Ooh, an, good uh, F's. de-radicalization? Eighteen F's. Yes, we should try to de-radicalize. But at the same time, though, eighteen combo as honorable. Other lefties would say we'd need to put in practical procedures to start shutting down this more extremist shit. Open to the panel. Yeah, God, there's can just. Somebody... Well, I, I just want to ask a question really quick, um, if anybody knew. Uh, yeah, Mama was... got, got featured to it. Uh, oh, I mean, Mama if you want to ask a question first, go for it. It's fine. Right. Yeah, I'll be really quick. Um, so has the Capitol or any government building been invaded by, like, and I'm talking about federal level, um, has it been invaded by a domestic or foreign force since 1812? I mean, no. I think, uh, no, I think not. Um, and, and the thing that's really fucked about all that, I mean, God, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot to Red go Nick's over. Saying, yeah. I mean, whatever, so actually- like he, he, you can say whatever, there's nothing uh, akin to this. And regardless, um, the fact that there was a Confederate flag flown, um, in the, the white inside the, the Congress building is pretty, uh, fucked. Um, but I mean, there's like so much that I could go into on this. I mean, we had, um, again, I covered this live, but there is, um, numerous, um, um, there's been now multiple people who've re- resigned as a result of not being prepared for this. On my stream leading up to the sixth, I did multiple streams actually, um, covering the, the, the violent rhetoric that was going on on websites like the Donald and on poll and on 8chan and it's you can go watch my actual streams where I show on the screen some of the things that people were saying there is no way that um, the government didn't already know about this the, I, my belief is very I believe very strongly that this was only as a result of um, of um, what's the word obstruction on behalf of Donald Trump's um, organization that this wasn't prepared for um and the mass number of resignations following the sixth um would seem to indicate that as well that there were people who were friendly to this goal um possibly some who we may find out more i mean for example um we do now know we now know for sure um that uh lauren bobert uh the famed gun nut and QAnon representative um was giving unauthorized tours to large groups of people in the three days leading up to the sixth um which i mean it's quite believable um that that could have been used to functionally case the capital um we don't actually know now i will say that i don't think that there's a likelihood that any of these cracks are going to appear um under the watch of the national guard with as many troops as are there but i think the fact that it happened at all is incredibly concerning and also that we have video footage showing um members of the capitol police not only assisting um but sometimes posing with for photos um but yeah literally there's multiple um literal videos that you can watch right now that have been credibly verified of of the the police just opening gates to allow people onto the capitol and then standing by um it's actually ridiculous the degree to which um 
we've we've found ourselves in an in an absolutely horrifying position and i i can't imagine um that wednesday is going to be very good for most of the country again uh uh, I believe it was Ken Klippenstein who reported today um, that our own Department of Homeland Security has reported that there is likely to be violence on other state capitals um, in, on Wednesday. That's terrifying. That means nearly everyone in the country has reason to be afraid that their state might be, uh, you know, undermined by these absolute radicals. Um, and uh, and they're, by the way, I, uh, they are radical fascists, just so that we can be clear. The people that are, um, oh, no, I mean, you laugh because you're probably a fascist yourself. Um, I laugh because you're so, fu you are so fucking out there with this shit. You literally are the Trump of the trans. You, you're oh, you're worse than again. me. Okay. And it's fucking amazing. Amazing. You yeah, make um, me fucking look good. I mean, I what? am. I am. God, a listen, excuse me. I am well, a very. What, what I am a very well researched uh, trans person. Uh, yes, I am trans. Yes, I am trans. Everyone, just so you know, I am trans. I don't know if that's been made aware, um, but I don't think that there's Are even a trans? single. I don't even I think that know. there is a single bit of of exaggeration in saying that the people who stormed the capital were fascist revolutionaries these are people who are pushing to overturn a democratic election in the name of hey, guaranteeing for history of attacks i shared it and i, sh I, I shared it. don't care what you shared your brain doesn't function more than fucking you don't care because you don't want no, to no, look I at mean, history wait wait so what's but, the point you know, the point is that the, there may the have been minor attacks there may the have been minor attacks the, on the on okay, the capital look, do, did you did you I, did you Hang on. The federal court, the federal courthouse building, in fucking Portland. That's sure. a federal piece of property too, right? That's that's not the you capital call of the country. What the fuck really? are you talking about? Again, okay. this is this is wait 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 wait, wait, wait. No, no, this is this is really funny okay. because you did interrupt me in no, order no, to say this here. stupid we bullshit. We could go here. Hold on a second. We could go here. No, no, I, I'd actually like to finish what I was here. saying because like I, again, whenever you open your mouth and you're, like the brain soup dumps out, you're passive aggressive. No, I'm not passive aggressive. This is aggressive. And they're gonna kill everybody's Trump supporters. You're so fucking you're so fucking passive aggressive about your bullshit. Shut up. You're so Please fucking stop. full of shit. I need to. Please stop. Thank you. All right. And <laughs> I, I've been patiently right waiting. Right stop. Hold on. Right next stop. Um, uh, please stop calling uh, uh, our good friend, uh, Dude Mama, the Trump of the trans, right? Like, don't do that here. All right. Um, like, am I the George Washington of the blacks? Like, what? Like, this is, like, don't, don't do that. That's like, that's fucked up. Please, please uh, respect our, our, our guest. Uh, she's a valued member, just like you. All right, moving on. Um, uh, we'll go to uh, Shadows and Connor. Oh, okay. Um, so all right, I, well, I, I wanted to finish my point. Gonna but... say, I, I'm, I was going to say, I, first of all, I want to back up Demon Mama on the point that like these people from the capital are fascists. But I was going to say, thank you. Is that like, thank you. You don't have to be like, you're the Trump of the blank. You can just say you're doing this in a Trump like manner or you're being Trumpian in the way you're. I do my best. I that's do my best. All, that's all you have to do. You don't have to go the identity. Oh, no, we'll get to me. Don't you fact. worry. I told also, you I was going to bring heat. Pictures. Why the fuck did you bring up the fact I'm a secular Zionist? Like, oh, I see secular Zionist going for censorship. What the fuck does that have to do with the topic, man? Seriously? Like, I just feel like I, it, it's funny to time. see the right wing go down the identity politics rabbit hole and they have to point out it's people's identity. First of all, all they do. you're attacking Demon for being trans and you feel the need to bring up the fact that I'm a secular Zionist calling for censorship. What does my belief in secular Zionism even have fucking remotely to do with this topic? It's nah. bullshit. You had no reason to I don't need that to refrain from that. You're literally just trying to attack people. Yep. Um, okay. All right, so uh, moving on. That's what um, Redneck does. You called for censorship. You called for censorship. But why did you, you, you know, bring up the fact I'm a secular Zionist? Uh, we're just calling for a, a, a modicum so of faith. decorum here and not being a, a, a an asshole. Thank I mean, you. Like, that's it. Yeah, I mean, yeah that's all I'm going to When you go to his channel, he just when you, when you go to certain channels that he's on, uh, in Republican spaces, he just mutes you all day because he doesn't actually want to engage in any of these topics. Yeah, he did. He's literally the most bad faith person on any of these topics that ex ever existed. It's crazy. Oh, don't uh, worry about that. Go ahead, Connor. Please, thank you. By the way, I gotta check my uh, super chats. I'm ready Connor. to argue with you. By the way, because we're gonna argue about guns here. True, <laughs> Adam Get Flores. It. Right, True, I'm here. Though. I'm here. We're gonna so, argue about I'm, guns. I'm, I'm radicals can be reasonable. I agree. I am a radical reason. I am a reasonable um, so, radical. So basically, Nick, absolutely. Here's the thing. So I don't think we need to devolve into fucking ad hums. Hey, you're all good. Any of that kind of bullshit. I think we can actually talk about the subject. And the, An the, idiot the, the like main you subject would is whether or not the inauguration right. is going to be violent. Um, and, 
Am, am I not unmuted right now? Oh, I'm spoon. Are you talking over everyone? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Go, go, yeah. you. Okay, okay, go ahead. All right, cool. Um, so we can talk about the inauguration. We can talk about security. We can talk about future right-wing violence and all that kind of stuff. And just to clarify my question, um, my question isn't whether or not there has been any kind of anti-governmental violence. I'm getting uh, fried uh, chicken, know, by the way. Federal buildings in the past fucking, you know, 100 years uh, or 200 years, because, like, I'm aware of them. Like, there was the Timothy I gave my Bay partner bombing. my card to go get there, there fried chicken. There was the Underground. There was the federal courthouse siege. All that kind of shit. I'm aware of all that. I'm talking specifically about our representative body, whether or not that has been invaded by any kind I'm of force, domestic or foreign since 1812 because when the, when the dc when capital burned because that is the level of historical precedence that we're effectively talking about yep um so to kind of just dismiss this as like oh uh the boob boys are just larpers the authoritarian right-wing people are just larpers the monarchists Ooh, and the and the Trumps, i love fried Trumps chicken like fans are just larpers i don't think we can hold that position after fried chicky pog. yes and, it's and so just pog. to kind of um clarify my position too about the right um so this could be like a perception thing and I'm effectively trying to reinforce the left. So don't yell at me when I'm trying to help you, you stupid assholes. So I think the perception from the conservative side is that the left wing, when they're rioting, they do more events, okay? BLM over the summer did more rioting, more property damage, all that kind of shit. But here's the truth. When the right wing becomes violent, and we can talk about violence and definitions and all that bullshit, but when the right wing becomes violent, they fucking go hard. So invading the capital, terrorist attack, uh, mashed, mashed potatoes shootings, and fries, like all that kind of shit. I love the mashed so, potatoes and fries. So Normally I like to get fried okra, but that right wing violence doesn't exist because it's more infrequent feels inaccurate to me, if not dishonest. And then I have another yeah, point about really fascism, know. but I want to see, I want to see the floor for now. Okay. Hold on Anyone? a second. I guess I can agree with you kind of points on, on to that point. Like, well, cause like, we do see right-wing violence, like, it is more often. Um, however, though, perceptionally, yeah, like, that, I would agree, though, like, like, when we see, like, the fucking BLM protest, we, the news, and, like, a lot of people love to focus in on, hey, look at that dumpster's on fire. They're burning government property, you know? And so, like, in those instances, like, we do Try get to see if I can get okra. That. However, though, I would agree with you, like, Aww, in the scale. Aw, thanks, Arrows. See you soon. Thanks through, for coming by. Like, in the severity that they cause. Like, for example, like, the Weatherman bombing was, Agreed. Um, was um, D2D Derek. addressed. It's like, yes. They like, I don't bomb. even think they, they also anybody. provided. They no, they didn't. Civilian. They didn't because in all their bomb, Yeah, because they didn't advocate killing. They specifically announced their like their targets True. way so ahead of schedule to ensure that their bombings did not kill people. But, you know, but, like, would that say I'd still, I want to like, try chi ro chicken and waffles again. I've had it a couple no, times, but I, I've okay. never had Roscoe's. And then, and then, and then, then counterpoints, though, like, sure. before you, like, before you get, like, super both sidesy and, like, start talking about, like, left-wing violence and stuff and, and try whatever. I get that you are saying that they are di they are distinguishable. Um, I want to point out that, like, Fried okra is my favorite. About, like, I love fried Antifa, okra. Uh, Antifa violence or BLM violence. Um, but our, like, very FBI director said specifically that white right-wing um neo-nazi um what is it? no no it said white white accelerationists um uh, that were uh, from no the Aryan tonight. Brotherhood it's okay though no and, tonight uh, there was another gang but both of them were like um they were they were like like hardcore uh taking advantage of blm riots, is it and they were you should screenshot that, some of it yavano like to try to smear blm i love okra worse light and so those Fuzz, that was good too. That, that's like that came directly from the it's okay director. i'm gonna get so potatoes I, instead I, I mean and then obviously we have all the uh, videos got her whore. various times where you Ezel's had, has the best uh, like for fried example, okra um there was the, the, the most famous one that would like happened um at the auto zone the very first one where there was a guy in the, the umbrella man that everyone was referring to and he had an umbrella he was all dressed in all black i remember um, that peacecraft guy, like, one got confirmed 100 to be like a right wing dude and he was the first one to break that window at the auto zone um, and everyone was questioning him oh. and threatened the people for questioning him. They're like, why would you do that? We were peaceful. Should check that out. Um, like, and then obviously the same thing happened at the Wendy's. Uh, yeah, I live, one guy I live in Seattle. Yep. Name, God forgive me. Um, uh, where that guy was uh, sh shot at the Wendy's. Um, there were three white guys that like went up there and then like kind of uh, broke that building. I mean, that lit that building on fire. Um, this seemed to be happening like on a regular basis. Um, so it's crazy because basically even on the left, you have the right responsible for a lot of their violence. And then, and then when it's not like, um, acceleration, it's an independent group, like trying their best to like create problems there. You also have the police officers acting violently against peaceful protesters in those case, true. cases where we know that a lot true of fanatic though, true fanatic though, right too. it's pretty nuts. 
Can I? So, so I want to. May I ask a question, question Adam? May I ask a question? Sure. I'd also like to speak. Question? Yeah. My, qu my question, fanatic. Like literally, you just stated that all the violence, even with BLM and Antifa, is because of right wing bad actors inside there. Nope, didn't say so that. So no. the left no. has no violence no. at all. No. No. He did not well, say that, all. That, that's what I took away. Yeah, there's three people here that didn't hear that. Yeah. 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 Fanatic <laughs> does not make it. I know for a fact. Fanatic you are made of straw. Because I don't do that shit either. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, so okay. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Thank you. Try Ryan, again. Can, try yeah, again. Yeah, all right. Uh, no, so I'm, I'm jump so let me get clarification. I'm trying to get clarification. Redneck is just stupid. Okay. Well, that's where I'm trying to get to as well because the whole thing again, it's going. Yay. Down that hole. Aw, thank you so much, fableism. Okay. Well, you, you um, cut out. Okay. So, so, so what I said was, I said that even on the left, you have a, a lot of instances that, uh, uh, at least according to our FBI director, that there were a lot of instances from um, uh, white uh, nationalists um, and uh, accelerationists trying their best to like infiltrate the, these peaceful protests and creating it. I'm not saying all of it, because um, obviously Antifa has done a lot of violent things as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm mm. just saying that you have a lot of violence Ooh, on the right. Okay, um, and then I'll, specifically I'll take a look at that. I'm sleeps. I've never heard of that place. That right. sounds so awesome. It's pretty interesting. I, I would say that the right topic thing is. is um, so I have a question for Redneck. I, 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 have, I, had, I, I know a lot about this. I know I, a lot I, about I, this. Let me speak. Sure, go for it. But I I'm sorry. Like I've, I've, I've been quiet. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, we're going to be Dean, please. Okay. So recently, I did a stream on this, right? Um, and it seems like left is left is violence, uh, violence, if you will, it seems to come from like an ideological perspective, right? So they're angry about like the, the second system topic or like right the way yep. that they're being treated or wow, uh, you know I'm that sleeps. kind of thing, right? And thus, there isn't like a specific person that they generally target. Maybe it's like some revolutions that are really violent. They are like you know like chopping King Louis' head off but... if, you, if you really want to go that far back. Um, I do like it. But generally, they tend to be directed at like a, at infrastructure or like they, they go for buildings and they go for cars and they go for things like that. So it doesn't actually like. Um, hurt people in a, in a physical way and i i mean i find it a lot easier to sort of um understand somebody's grievances when they're directed at a system that is disenfranchised them i think that's more reasonable even if their okay, actions aren't okay. justified Hold on. guys listen, secondly I'm, I'm sorry for i'm sorry for interrupting but can i jump in because this is effectively like um not only is it not productive but it's also going to drive me fucking insane um, so, so basically, like, we don't need to talk about how you guys individually qualify left-wing violence versus fucking right-wing violence. Um, and I, I would rather, like, rather than fucking, because all that's going to happen is that Redneck and me are going to be like, you're opening Pandora's box about political violence, so you can't be surprised when the right-wing does worse shit when you're opening up the fucking Pandora's box. Yes, that's literally going to be the fucking point. Of course not you can. Agree of course on you it. can. And I was just about to get to that. Okay, okay, okay. No, but, but, but we're, but yeah, we're not going to agree on it. And we you're right, Adam. I don't know. We're, we're I don't just no. Fucking fall into a rabbit well, hole. Wait, 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 so wait, hold on, wait, wait. hold on. I have no, 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 no. I it, don't want to go in the hole. I don't want to go in the hole. If we're if we're moving, if we're moving, I had a I had a question and and I was next, but, but uh, go go on. Yeah, Vadim, please, Vadim. Catherine, you don't worry. You can always catch okay, the bod. Thank you, thank you. Um, because 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 I I want to go where Cut Counter is taking us, but I I don't want to abandon where we were. Um, uh, so just I some just wild shit, Justin. Because you were laughing. Just some wild shit. Um. I'm sorry, uh, uh, fanatic. Um, when he was giving yep, that happened. Which, that happened. Um, Shapiro said, "Cat, the, yes, it did." The, the, yep, was, was you missed FBI that. Director that you said uh, it came yep. from. Uh, yes, I believe so. Yes. So you were laughing mm -hmm. at that information, which. So I, I, I just want to know, like, are you, yeah. um, of the impression that this information Aww. is well i try to be sweet I you're mean, my that, imps uh, my chat is my me. imps i love I mean, you all sounds like you're in a communal way obviously not personally but yeah conspiracies and whatnot so it's okay don't um, worry about know, it just, i'm fine I, I'm, I'm, I'm just curious do you do you think that they how about are your answer for me since you know where i'm at fabricating no i want to hear from you uh, are you do you think that this that that these uh this the imperative is fabricated yeah. and has no truth to it i have said multiple times that I believe that the far right and the far Don't left that, operate in the same system. circles. I've had that argument actually, I think, on one of these panels. And you're just where wrong. there are actually people that are so far right that they're almost an anarchist, i.e. they believe the same it thing as anarchists. You're verifying this is, like this is the one of the stupidest things to, I've ever heard come from your mouth. Horseshoe theory to the maximum. Extreme oh, horseshoe is, theory. There's no such... Okay, so everybody wants to interrupt on my answering, and what my belief is is that there's actually violence on fo both fucking sides, just like Connor told you. Yeah, he well, fucking I, I told you. I was going to get into that. Okay, but yeah, but, but hold on. Like, I just think that it's important to note that you're not... Fuck sakes, you guys want to push it all on one side. You're full of shit. You're trying to put... I didn't even finish my 
my sentence. Morality or violence? Dude, are you all right? Is this okay, is buddy. it healthy for you to be on panels, Redneck? Because yeah, here's, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, Con- I was like, I'm not gonna. Um, uh, Redneck, finish your point, right? Um, and then uh, we will let Connor uh, go back in. Connor, you don't have to do the spirit fingers, okay? I see you, all right? <laughs> okay, Redneck. <clears throat> Vadim, I do. I I'm not questioning the the report. I was laughing because I was I was saying in my stream that this is where fanatic goes. He always tries to find a way to put the right at blame for all violence, and and that is exactly what we don't want to do. Is sit here and try to claim morality He's over whose violence idiot. is more His justified. Is so it's a ridiculous fucking stupid. argument, and it's it's and it's a fallacy to sit here and say that there's no violence on both fucking sides. That's false and bullshit, and you guys know it. Now oh, I, I I agree. I actually I actually fucking agree that when the right does damage, they go hard. They go directly to the source of their grievance. They don't attack other civilians. They go straight to the fucking what? government. What? <laughs> Wait yes, a minute. Oh, my the, like God. Timoth- what about, Timothy, what about when they, uh, let what me about fucking injection? finish. What about the Christ church? Jesus the fucking church? Christ. Let I, me didn't fuck- even, I didn't even get close to the end of my point. I'm oh, just saying. Okay. I didn't even get that halfway there. Everyone, shut up. Thank you. The, Great. Um, the, um, counterpoints. Sorry. Uh, the <laughs> fact that... Redneck, finish. And then counterpoints. That'll be the order. The... the f- fact that when the no, right I has think done he is domestic that stupid. terrorism Pasadis or John. far right honestly i think he is that stupid there's been dramatic it, it's been large scale like timothy mcveigh was the one of the largest and a lot of civilians were hurt and died like that's not even shadowing that the attacks on 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 businesses attacks on other property by other groups it still affects in the same way because it takes livelihoods away we can sit here and justify the morality behind all this bullshit but i don't want to go there there's violence on both sides Point blank, the right has a, uh, an extreme violence. FBI says it. Okay, I'm just, I'm a white guy. This is supposed to sit here and go. Uh, okay, tell me something I don't know. Uh, there's a lot of fucking white dudes that carry guns and hate their fucking government and are willing to be stupid and go out and try to think they're going to take overtake their government. Is that enough for y'all? I'm done. Right. Thank you. All right, so we're going to uh, counterpoints. Um, I did want to say one thing though. Um, is that I thought part of the more interesting part of the question was to like what we'll do in the future, right? Um, Because we're kind of getting stuck here on definitions and both sides of them and all that, right? But uh, just like um, Shadows here, I thought like... uh, Well, not a bad idea, Adam. Thank you, Leah, uh, for getting that. It's a rough spot that he's in. Thank you so much for the support. Um, Welcome to Rich Generation Stories. Go ahead, uh, Connor. Yeah, and I'll I'll take 15 seconds. If you're not sub to Prime, you're a loser and you need to sub to Prime, okay? So just just go ahead and do it. So uh, basically... The or or at least follow for the love of God. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, ba- basically, like I'm Girl, I'm okay Austin. having this conversation as a matter of fact, or a debate, follow, whatever. If if Spoon and Demon Mama yeah, want to come I'm back concerned. on another time and we can talk about like the the way that violence is different between left and right and kind of like definitional differences and the the definition of terrorism, which I know I got triggered as fuck on on the last debate. Um, I'm super happy to have that fucking conversation. But what I think is more interesting is basically like how do we one, how do true, we define busy, it? True. And then two, how do we fix it? And one of the things that I'll agree with Demon Mama, Mama on, but still think it's unproductive, is that I think Trump is a fascist. Now, that's because I've actually studied fascism, which is it's basically ethnocorporatism, so believing that you have like a body of people that you need to take care of, and then it's authoritarianism, and that authoritarianism is very flexible, so it can basically move up and down as far as like, what's authoritarian and what's not. So I actually believe that that's fascist, but I think a lot of people, probably just like in Nazi Germany, did not believe that they were bad. They, and, and on top of that, ironically, a lot of the people who were who stormed the Capitol, they're libertarians. And I have no idea how you're a libertarian who thinks that Donald Trump is going to preserve the republic. Um, I also have no idea how yeah, you basically I think so too, ignore Gatefish. so much information yeah, I think you're right. um, that you're a veteran who thinks that you're preserving the republic and preserving democracy by yeah, storming but the Capitol. Yeah, but that doesn't matter. But I mean, Rumming, no, one of the yeah, things he, that's really frustrating I don't, here is I never like, said oh, that. I think everything all, he says all is the dumb. justifications for their worldview uh, for violence, and the right wing doesn't. Well, I happen to be a well-researched person that I don't think the election was stolen. However, if I did think the election was stolen, if I did believe Donald Trump, if I did think that there were millions of, you know, uh, wrongful ballots and that on top of that, it was a manipulation by the Chai comms in Venezuela in order to do this, it might be fucked up and stupid to you. But the solution isn't, hey, you're fascist pieces of shit and I wish you got mowed down in the fucking street. It's, hey, here's the evidence of why you've been lied to, of why you've been manipulated, and while why you think you while you think you might be doing the right, the right thing, you're actively actively doing the exact wrong thing. 
And while maybe that's not something to figure out on a seven or nine person debate Twitch panel, that's actually how you diffuse this grenade. Yeah, okay. um, I have a couple of things to touch on. Um, like, uh, by the way, uh, just for the record, I never, uh, in fact, I said specifically to the opposite. I don't know if you were meaning to imply this, but I don't believe that the answer is for people to get mowed down in the streets ever. I don't believe that that's the answer. In fact, I, I think it's terrible. Um, I do Sorry. think that we need, no, it's okay. Um, I, I do think that we need to acknowledge that um, we are at a, a bit of an unprecedented point, which is... Um, Without stopping the incessant flow of misinformation coming from Donald Trump, of verifiably false information, I mean everything from oh my God, it's ridiculous. There's just it's 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 a cascade of misinformation of lies, and without stopping that, how do you actually set about educating the people who've been conned? And they have been conned. That's the thing. Um, I mean, for certain people like. Um, you know, like redneck on this panel, I don't feel too bad for. Um, but for other people, I do um, realize, like, I do think that it's very sad. There's a lot of people who've just been taken advantage of by Donald Trump and his cult-like cronies. Um, but uh, and and but but how do you how do we address that without stopping their ability to keep propagating conspiracy theory where they where they also advocate that the end result is often um, ethnically focused violence like I, I i don't know i think we do have a, a serious challenge in front of us right now um and i don't think it's as simple as saying oh it's censorship when we shut down something like parlor a website that was literally exposing its own users to extreme danger while also being used as a platform to to plan um abject violence in the name of overturning democracy like you have to eventually draw a line and say okay well it it maybe it's a free maybe it's a small free speech issue here well we need to figure out something and and then we need to stop it for now and then we need to set up a better rule in the future because as it stands right now these platforms are being used to organize violence and not only that they're not just being used to organize violence they're they're, they're actively being used to rope more vulnerable hurting people into these groups and filling their heads with complete and abject lies and it is very cult-like. I think we need to approach it much like we do a cult. However, you it's very difficult in the moment when there is a cult actively at war with you, uh, pushing into your capital, willing to crush people in doorways and beat their heads in with a with a, with a flagpole or a, or a, a gun or whatever you want to put, just all the fucking shit we saw. When you have that actively going on, you it's very difficult to just be like, well, we sh we need to be nice to these people who are actively trying to kill people. So I do agree that um, the, and again, like I said at the very beginning, because I really hope that the right wingers um that are in this Trump cult are are um reasonable enough to not make an attempt on the on the capital of the united states because if they do it is going to be horrible and i hope that that's not the case because it would make me very sad if that was um but i recognize that they very well might and i don't think that i can hold it against uh the the even even me being an anti like i'm not i'm not a statist i don't believe in like the power of a state but i can't blame a state for saying hey we can't have a bunch of yahoos in their uh modded punisher painted pickup trucks with thin blue line flags flying out running over the the literal cops and plowing into the wall of a, of a capitol building like i don't know you have to put a you have to say whoa hold on a fucking second here anyway i i think one of the things that we've been been spinning off on is like all these discussions of like whether violence is equivalent I, I agree with you that i don't think that's a conversation for the here and now but the fact of the matter is that uh we do have an eight currently ongoing fascist uprising in the united states and that has to be taken seriously and, 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 if, sorry 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 uh, uh so well, if, if he wants to answer what i answered what the FBI question that they asked you earlier, that Vadim asked you earlier, you never answered. I did answer it. I did answer it. Does it. Did anybody remember what his answer was? I think he said that he actually did not believe that the information was was uh, fabricated, but that he thought that you, which which I completely disagree huh. with, that you were trying to Let me see if I missed any super chats or anything. Um, deny that there is any violence on the left and push... <sighs> All of Rednecks uh, born after 1920 aren't worth it. Within our country, oh, they argue, boot, like pivot, on, shift, blame, you know, blame black it, people for their woes, lie, and charge their phone. True. The I think that was his point. 
Okay, so he wasn't and laughing for, at the source. And, and, yeah, yeah. And, 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 oh, I agree yeah. with you on that, by and, the way. I don't think they're like mentally ill necessarily. I think they're deluded. Like Adam Flores, uh, yeah. Misquoting you there. Or, or um, uh, like... yeah, it's all right though. No, no, y'all keep doing it. Y'all doing a great job. Keep it up. It, hey, that, that, all right. I simply said the evidence. The evidence. I simply said the evidence is fine. Yeah, you got that. But but I was saying that just like you did the other day on that stream that you claimed was mine, and I muted you. It wasn't me. It was somebody else. They're called the Republican Nation, by the way. His name is Jace. He runs it. He 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 muted you because you wouldn't shut up. It wasn't me. I don't mute anybody. I don't ban anybody. So he said you did. Enjoy. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> so uh, we'll, go, wow. we'll go. Now we're gonna go into um, uh, closing statements for this one and go to the next one. I, don't give up your spot for anyone, guys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, I guess that'll be my closing then. Okay, yeah. All right, I'll, I'll, you can start. Okay, I was putting that as my closing. All right. No, this is part I'm, two. We're all going into part long. three I now. I am timing you guys. Under a minute? Got... Okay. When does it start? Cause I gotta, I'll, I'll go. Before. Now! Okay. So, not, oh, sorry. fuck. Okay, so effectively, um, unfortunately, when you're doing the resolutions, unfortunately, you are going to hit that morality question no matter what. Um, although it's easily resolved. You can say... You can acknowledge that you can be morally um, contradictory or morally hypocritical because to be morally consistent would be like asinine in all situations. We are arbitrary and subjective in many things in our fucking society. As this relates to... Um, okay, so as it relates to um, extremism, extremism and how to de-radicalize it, um, the most basic answer is fucking yeah, uh, they did. satisfy uh, material. It'll be, it was a temporary yeah, mode, but still... Of, um, of crime and extremism a secondary Destiny factor is of extremism is who? isolation from Destiny a different is calling who? the other rights means if you're poor and white and just poor and with a bunch of other white dudes your chances of being a fucking extremist or being more likely to part of hate group are exponentially increased as opposed to being impoverished and being in a more diverse area for obvious reasons and okay yeah thanks <laughs> spoon I don't know. Um, I would Somebody say said that Destiny like a was calling. Concrete culture of violence, and it's it's really quite bad. Um, oh, okay. You don't okay. really see I this see. anywhere else in the world. You don't see this I anywhere see, else I in see, the world. I like I remember going to school and not having to go through a metal detector and never fearing that I might die that are day. You mad? Are you uh, mad? Crazy, are you mad? I know. And I didn't really take that uh, to mean much back then. But now I'm like, oh, hey, that's nice. Uh, I think a, a, a large part of this and a large part of the problem we have yeah, with we law do have a culture of violence like here, a massively yeah. armed population. Cops are jittery. I think that's I think that's pretty fucking bad. Uh, the the availability of firearms there's a there's a whole bunch and like violence is super normalized there. Why is redneck here? Good question. I don't know. As well, where the, generally they target ethnic mi minorities and they target like specific people rather than having sort of like an ideological difference, which actually makes a big difference in the violence committed. Considering that in the last twenty five years, left wing violence has killed one person, right wing violence in the last ten years has killed three hundred and twenty nine people. Uh, we'll go to Fnatic. Fnatic, are you there? Okay, um, we'll go to Vadim. All right. Um, okay. I don't know. I don't really have that much to say that hasn't already been said. I, I, I echo what Smug Pug had to say. Um, in, in terms of um, long-term solutions, I guess the only thing that I'd add is I think that Sledge. These oh yeah, back in the day, fundamentally could be addressed. Sledge, lol. Uh, if we decades ago had a better educational system, and uh, I think there's something deeply wrong with. Oh my God, he's so uh, stupid. Eighty five to two D Derek. System, and we're gonna. I know. I want to get on Hippy Dippy again. I haven't been on in a while. Who just um, are woefully. Uh, just, I don't know, mistrustful of, of, of science and, and, uh, it's been wild. Yeah, I, I think that that's, a, I got called, uh, I got sexually objectified. That that it, that I got called trans Trump three run. times. If we really Trump uh, of the transes, I think was the term actually, but, um, just bolstered the, uh, the, both the funding and, um, pr probably re re-examine uh some aspects of, of the, True, the things that Benjamin. we teach and the way we teach them um yeah uh, i don't, I don't, know, an I don't idiot. think i have anything to say so that's it um, um i can answer that afterwards prospect too no, that was my bad no maybe uh, we'll do something I, mean, I don't know 
Double Seems like a mess. Quickly. Um, yeah, I, the idea of us trying to return back to the status I'll answer that in the Q and A. Um, just to like kind no, of. No, it's fine. I don't care. I'm tough. Sneaky debate man was saying like, bro, like the status quo in the United States is pretty atrocious. When you just look at how much violence that we had, like, and it's not like yes, there's been like specific kinds of. Oh, violence, thank you, Ziggy like, Richards. Really I don't know a lot of practice. It's my it's my job, right? Activated. My job, but, but I take like, my job seriously. And the amount of like it's my profession, uh, you know, my craft, yeah, my yeah, art. Like, just the, the, the amount of violence that happens in this country, I don't even know if that's a status quo that we want to get to. Um, and yeah, there's a specific demographic of people that happens to be particularly violent. If we want to look at what's happened since 9/11, like yeah, we we, we have like 9/11 might have been something bad, but then we look at like pretty much the vast majority of violence that's happened since then. And it's been, you know, all certain type of folks creating certain kinds of violence. We probably need to figure out what's going on with those people and address that. That's what I'm, that's really what. The no, issue is. I understand you on um, that, so Drake Asai. That would that make that me go. Does not sound like a good idea to me. We got to figure out what the hell is going. That's on a bit of a um, that's a bit of a red flag. With those people. Okay, redneck. An egg? I don't know. Redneck. Red. Redneck. You got me? Idiot. Yep. Do you have me? Do you have yes. me? Do you have me? We have okay. you here, you buddy. We were still... I'll, I'll have you anytime right now. Hold on, question number two, correct? <laughs> Holy yep. shit, Adam. I'm sorry you have to deal with that. Huh? Because, again, it, it went completely away from it. Um, an education system to fix brainwashed cultist members. No matter what the education is. Off of counter counterpoints, a uh, clear example of why I think his brain is we're down. losing the right extremist argument here, and we have all these problems. Exactly the same shit that we're not supposed to try to, you know, we're trying to get through. Um, security is oh, going to no, cover his ass. Oh no, nothing's going to happen to him. There's not going to be anything happening at the DC. Inauguration. Okay. Um, Y'all are. Oh, this is a, this is an overhyped show. That's your that's your time. All right, moving forward. Uh, we'll go to shadows. Oh, I can answer you. Answer um, that to you for you, Aber. So, I don't know what the fuck the fuck to say. Even, um, I I mean I feel like I'm not gonna add anything that hasn't already been said. They didn't even answer the question, so I don't know why I should. I. Um, okay, thanks for interrupting. I, I just I feel like I've made my position on the on the questions clear. I think it's helpful. I feel like any of my talk. conjecture over this time has made my position clear on violence. I don't think you know there would be violence. I have no idea, Posada John. His capital, brain doesn't function. I don't think least, he puts two you know, and two together ever. Willing, oh, I'm sure um, he will. A greedy happen. boy. Oh, he will. Um, He's been tweeting about this fucking civil war. Yeah, again. I don't know. I just Shadows of Liberty like, is the one who's talking. I don't know. I just feel exhausted. Right, well, that's your time, so uh, don't worry about it. Thank you. All right, Connor. So, be, basically, I'll answer that afterwards, man. Ab. Aber. So, th th I this got is this my on the question list. Uh, to redneck, because I understand that you probably don't feel like you're getting a fair shake here, and uh, he I always feels that. like that. But he's the perpetual victim. Whenever we get into a conversation like this, like I emanate from the right, I emanate from a right wing background. I, uh, I was a libertarian probably for a the really latter. Long time. And uh, Vadim might come on after. What I would say is, but Vadim's gonna come on left soon. Left-wing violence, while I, while I can agree with you, we're just gonna get into this like fucking semantics and definitional and fucking social debate with you know Spoon and other folks about shit. Whereas the real thing should be, <sighs> hey, I know this was yeah, fucked true, up. Johnny. Yeah, I don't I agree. think it's right. Um, and, and like I'm not trying to put words in your mouth. I'm I'm verbalizing what I would like to see the right do. This is fucked up. It's wrong. I don't want to see more of it. Probably, and Catherine. And basically, I'm going to hold the right accountable. When I see I people a bit of a excuses, yawn. when I see people uh, corroborating things that I know that are untrue, when I see right-wing people basically justifying all this bullshit, I'm going to call them out on it. And then if we uh, hold yeah. our own to that, Ad Adam, I agree with you. Then we can he does, he does make it all every, the every their position look more. But that speaks society. to my position, right? Um, and that's, that's effectively what I want to do. That the far and right holds us all back. the panel in general, don't shit on the enlightened centrist, okay? That that's that's what I try to do. I try to be the fucking bridge between communities that don't understand each other. I try to explain perspectives that might not seem obvious to you, and I try to de-radicalize people who are on the fucking fringes. So if I'm an enlightened centrist with a lot of right-wing sympathy, couch warrior. You can shit yeah. on me for being an idiot and all those other reasons, but don't shit on enlightened centrism in general. And it's then be my uh, turn soon. Uh, I'll, I'll wrap it. 
but Spoon and I need to have a conversation about firearms and violence. Western Europe is not the entire world into insinuating that there's not a culture of violence outside of the United States is absurd. Time. Thank you. Great. It's the bonus uh, topic. Oh, sorry. Did you call my name? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah. I mean, I feel like we kind of went all over the place um, on this uh, particular topic. Um, it was very interesting nonetheless. Um, I think there's a very good chance that we will see um, violence on, on uh, Wednesday. Um, I think that... Uh, it's really funny because, um, uh, and, I, and I know this is, again, kind of uh, pointing at Redneck, but, I mean, he seems to be the one who seems very devoted to this issue. So I think it makes sense. Um, but uh, but on previous panels, Redneck has brought up that I was um, overhyping all these things, that the election was going to be nothing. There wouldn't be violence leading up to the inauguration. And there was. There was because I was basing that on credible information. And as it turns out, I'm basing this on credible information now. In fact, that credible information going so far as to be the literal Department of Homeland Security, which is not exactly a left leaning organization if you're uh, if you're unaware um the 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 absolute um rabid zealotry that we see in the trump cult the trump cult which is a fascist cult um is shocking even the sort of uh, institutional right wingers um and uh it's kind of terrifying because we know what their worldview is we know what fascist societies look like we know what uh people like um rednecks worldview um, is full of which is discrimination prejudice hatred and violence um and uh that's what we see unfolding so i'd love to see i'd love for us to have less of that because um as it turns out i actually really really value the democratic process Process when it works but it doesn't work um when it is being constantly attacked and hijacked uh by fascists so yeah uh that's my statement on that thank you so much okay all right so we're gonna move on to our last topic of uh night uh before that i um, imagine to his, all those watching it's probably like a swamp, um, and we have right? his chat? 214 people watching wow that's really not kind i'm thankful for all of you being here thank you so much um if you want more of this we have these uh, discussions all the time uh, streaming six days a week, right? So not only do we have invite only. Oh, we got a here, YouTube slot. We uh, flood? invite interesting Yay! people to talk about oh, interesting shit. things, right? Thank you. Um, we also have walk on panels. Really so after appreciate this, that. We'll have a walk on panel. Well, all these members like you guys sitting at home. Thank you for uh, all the subs. Be involved, right? if Happy you, to have you all. Right? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You, please give me a follow. We haven't done so already. Welcome. I know uh, all of you watching have not followed me. Certainly not. So please, please, please consider hey, that following this channel. I think it might just be on a delay. Thank you for all the subs. Look at all those. Beyond that, for those out there, oh, thank. Thank you for the raid um oh might be from the raid uh, uh, for uh, might the be rest from of the raid. out there uh please uh consider uh a sub a like channel spike. if you're not currently subbed that's the way we keep this channel uh, going and growing All right can i do it don't forget to support. like the stream everyone so, um uh if you're not subbed please sub to the channel i gotta right focus now. on the panel um, uh, if you have an amazon prime prime uh gaming or uh twitch prime uh you can sub to the channel for free please take advantage of that and support the channel it doesn't cost you a dime right um but otherwise yes uh, uh sub to the channel it's only five dollars. Five dollars uh, keeps this channel going, right? I can't do it without you. Um, beyond that, you can uh, uh, donate bits. You can donate subs. Um, Hi, you everybody. Can do that. Um, also, Did somebody raid. Yeah, I think below. we got a raid. Um, you can scroll Welcome. down. Uh, below Come on this, in. you'll have to find a PayPal button. Uh, there's another way. Yeah, I think there's a delay on, on these. Like that way, you can put exclamation point donate within the chat. Um, yeah, and, Streamlabs uh, was busted. Streamlabs. We have all kinds of ways all to good, though. Uh, support the channel. So uh, please choose one of them. Yeah, Prime hosts panels. He's really cool. If you donate, I really respect Prime emotes. Illustrious CMOS right there. There's them in the chat. And also, of course, uh, you get sub free viewing. Um, so uh, please consider all of that. Yeah, I think it's a, a delay really from the subs stuff. earlier. Thank you all so much, though. All right, uh, moving on. Hey, Prime. Uh, yep. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to tell. Don't forget to tell them that they can kick me off. They can kick me off for a certain price too. You remember? Uh, not on the invite only. Um, uh, <laughs> you're, you're I thought it stood always for me. Nope. Uh, <laughs> Hey. Can't do that. Can't do that to guess. Well, I'm happy to have you, I invite you here. Very I can't happy. just like toss you out for money. Um, but I uh, walk ons. Yes, yeah, certainly. Fill him out. Uh, would love it. Uh, <laughs> so embarrassing. <laughs> but but thank you uh, for being here. Okay. Um, Hell yeah, so, Gay uh, Fetch. That makes me really happy. Last, uh, We're making making strides. Thing. Slow and sure. <clears throat> uh, okay. I can click on the right button here. Scrolling down. All right. Topic three. Recently, Biden announced a plan to uh, raise the federal minimum wage from $7.25 an hour to a living wage of $15 an hour. I do, yes. Uh, do you think um, such an increase uh, is likely to I pass? can tell you, Dizzy. Do you expect massive resistance from Republicans despite the popularity of the policy? I'll answer is that this afterwards. Is the correct move? 
If not, should the minimum wage be raised at all, and by how much? Or would it be best not to have we'll a get wage there. for at all? We'll get there, okay. Somnio. So um, we'll uh, start with some... The Vosh rate was earlier. Mama. Everyone, keeping it to a minute. I won't cut you off, because we got to keep it moving. All right, Demon Mama. Yeah, um, I think that uh, the fifteen dollar minimum wage is a good thing. Um, I it's unfortunate that as of right now it appears to only be temporary um, and also a little too little too late. Uh, the fifteen dollar minimum wage is being advocated for um, for years. We actually need it to be a little higher, in my opinion. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be really. I'm really interested to hear people's arguments against this because there's no, there is absolutely no evidence that a fifteen dollar minimum wage hurts anything. Um, in fact, here in um, I have a study that 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 um, I can link, but um, that was done out of the University of Washington here in my state. Um, the city of Seattle uh, implemented a fifteen dollar minimum wage a couple of years ago, and we've now had years to study. It. Not only did it not increase prices, um, but actually it greatly did succeed in improving the quality of life for those who are working there. The funny thing is that as it turns out, um, businesses don't often actually have significant price hikes following minimum wage um, uh, increases. But they do say that they will beforehand to prevent it from happening. And this is because, of course, I mean the profitability, the money that's going to the individual owning the business is going to decrease somewhat. But if everyone is being paid $15, they also have more money to spend. And uh, the fact of the matter is that we have some of the, the most pathetic minimum wage uh, restrictions in the, in the world, and we should uh, do better. We should treat our workers better. Our workers shouldn't be uh, pawns that should be crushed. I think that's terrible. Okay, thank you. Mm -mm. Uh, let's go to Connor. All right, see you later, Yuris. Yeah, so, Thanks for being um, here. I. I really want to have my mind opened about economics in general. Uh, I was fed a lot of uh, right a little bit. economic arguments. So for instance, because it logically follows, you, labor is a large portion of business, you raise wages, uh, business increases, uh, you, uh, you know, business costs increase, you pass that uh, cost on to the consumer. So you just have this uh, cycle of raising wages and then raising costs. And it just, you know, basically it doesn't happen though. inflation. It doesn't happen um, in an economy. That but it being doesn't. said, I also think that the, the strongest American economy was in the 50s and 60s, partially because of enforced social programs that promoted the health of the family and well-being. And I am not an anarcho-communist. I'm not interested in returning to a 19th century style economy uh, of like peasants and serfs. I want healthy American families. So if a $15 minimum wage helps with that, then I'm for it. Okay. Oh, OK. Um, I think you meant anarcho-capitalist. Um, okay, so um, I, I personally believe that when it comes to the minimum wage, it is necessary. He does for remind me of wings. Reasons. Oh my One, God, Mizuko, there are maybe he is. That will not set a minimum wage on their own. Okay, this is an issue. Um, and I think this is something we yeah, can possibly is what I've heard. change at the federal level, but it, it seems unlikely to force it on states. And two, <laughs> keep drinking um, that beer. Also, Adam. there are just enjoy uh, it. certain. Uh, undocumented workers that would get paid like you know fucking pennies um e even under the table they get paid less but you know i think when you have a plan for amnesty for these people um you know i think this the uh federal minimum wage can help so yeah, we have personally my thing is i don't think a 15 dollar federal minimum wage is good for several reasons. I know Demon Mama mentioned some studies that she brought up, and we do have a lot of studies um, on how, you know, $15 minimum wage doesn't affect stuff. Uh, we have it on Seattle and San Francisco. Um, we have in New York that we actually didn't see, um, you know, a huge thing. We actually saw that prices did uptake yeah, in New York. Yeah, I know, York, Johnny. But this didn't affect people going to restaurants. Um, uh, they're all my right. thing is, he's a neoliberal. If it's he's going to have right. a $15 minimum wage, more power to them. I think it's totally necessary in certain cities to have a minimum wage like that. I don't think you can have a federal minimum wage, you know, that should apply across the whole country. Because I think there are plenty of areas where you, like $15 oh, an hour an doesn't make sense. Um, but I would say, I'd say a and, better uh, time. I, uh, I can, I'll, I'll wrap it up. I think a better uh, number would be like eight, um, He's a kid. Dollars. That's why. Gotcha. All right. Um, and I want to mention I didn't uh, say it previously that uh, this was um, 
uh, Shadow's this topic. So we thank Shadow for being kind enough to submit. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, uh, the Dean. Uh, if we look at something like EBT, better, uh, some people know it as food stamps. Um, it's probably hey, the most nine, successful nine, nine. Uh, program that we have that some people would call like um, a social safety net in terms of the uh, return nine that monies. America yep. gets on nine the dollar monies. for every dollar spent. Uh, and the reason for that is because people use those I mean, you're funds not wrong there. and pump it directly into uh, the economy. I think it's yeah, thanks I agree. to reason. I agree. And uh, okay, $9, I, I haven't yeah. read all the studies on thanks, this. Thanks, Adam. Really that appreciate that. You're being so generous. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. It means the world to me. Receiving a minimum wage would be I want, also we want the money. putting their money back EBT into is, the economy. Well, we can talk about EBT, actually. They, it, they, there's just like when, when, when you're working. EBT has a, big problems, uh, but it's actually you know, also. McDonald's or what have um, you. You probably don't really have good. a lot of disposable income, and you have to oh, use all the income you have to survive. And yes, therefore, I think I don't I know enough about the game yet. That, milk bow, milk bow. Um, the, the implementing it will not hurt, uh, and, and that, and then also the existing studies that I know are out there. That all those things give me the confidence that it will work. Certainly, I'd like more, but yes, it's great. It's a great start. We need to start. Milk bow. Thank you. All right, Renek. Uh, we can't hear you, Redneck. Uh, okay. Um, you uh, so, yeah, Do, you no, no. Do you have me now? Do you have me now? Do you have me now? Discord's uh, Discord's updating, by the way. So just so y'all know. Um, why not make it? Why Why are we only doing fifteen? Why don't we make it twenty-five? True. Why don't we make it fifty? A hundred. What's what? What are we stopping, y'all? What? Who? Fuck yes! it. Let's go. How much? What is a life? worth what is your per yes. hour life worth yes i Go never with, thought we're that gonna I would have the be weighing take in care of that right with comrade I mean, redneck we're just we're sorry well, i'm just saying i mean if we're gonna force people to pay a certain rate why stop Aww, at 15 thank you so much adam well i will do my best to succeed for you it's it's you want to take bar. people's uh, you want to take lower income right people's jobs away from them? Put a set price on what they need, they can make or what they are forced to make, and let's stop teaching people or let's not teach people how to actually sell themselves or 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 okay. or try to that, be or try to find that better job. Thank you. All right, fanatic. And fanatic is represented by the F in the corner. In case you don't know, for our new people, the F in the corner is fanatic. Yeah, so listen, I think minimum wage is a great idea. Um, I don't know. I think the idea of like making it $15 He was just goofing, like, but still. Really great. Um, I'm like obviously a Californian, so $15 an hour doesn't, doesn't sound like much because our cost of living is so absurdly high. It's actually already scheduled to be like there's going to be a state minimum wage for California. Our minimum wage is $12, so this is only a $3 increase um, if it rolls out like pretty much right away. By um, uh, by January, actually no, I'm sorry. It's thirteen. It's uh thirteen dollars an hour as of January first, twenty twenty one. Um, it's gonna be uh, we'll fifteen dollars an we'll hour because it goes up a dollar every freaking year um, on New Year. So I, I don't. I I. I mean, it's a good thing, obviously, but it seems. Um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously, the cost of living is gonna vary in different places. Um, from what I'm reading, it doesn't seem like it really increases um unemployment, which is something that I've always heard my whole life. Uh, specifically from Thomas Sowell. <laughs> um, yeah, so I, I don't know. Thomas Sowell, a uh, fanatic. Um, he doesn't have a camera. Working. Um, of course, if you're black and you can't get a job just because you're not sounding name, it's not gonna help. Okay, uh, no problem. Um, we'll go to fanatic uh, is uh, is he's a little f off the screen. Already, yes, it should be 15, or if in some cases, depending where you live, higher for that obvious reason. Uh, for the obvious reason of depending where you live can yeah, uh, affect the cost. Yeah, I don't know if I like cost. that, but I can talk about um, it Right after. now, the average standard of living, you need a wage that of $68,808. All these stats true. are as of 2019. However, the average of working American receives 35.997. You can do fucking math. You're making barely about half of what you need to fucking live. This is an issue. So this means that effectively people may have to take two jobs if they're even able to. Now, uh, maybe it's just my fucking socialist mind going off but like if you're spending your whole entire time like day and night fucking working then what's the point of that just to pay for a place to live then uh that's probably a society you don't want to be in um as in relation to um 
you know, a common argument that commonly gets brought up, you know, and I'll just refer to it now, is they'll say, like, oh, well, only 2.3% I've worked three jobs at a time before, and it's very wage. difficult. However, though, it's That's what we referenced crushing. the other stats fact, I just brought horrible. up. horrible. Um, in regards to inflation, um, there is little to no indications that increasing the minimum wage has and, this um, uh, in, spikes inflation as well. Uh, spoon. Okay, here's 11 points on why raising the minimum wage is a good idea. Uh, it's not likely... I'm going to speed read this, okay? Just give me give me the time. I think I'm the last person to go anyway. Um, okay, so, uh, wages increase are more likely to be taken out of profits rather than price hikes due to the competitive nature of business and companies seeking to retain their customers. Holy shit. Uh, I adjusting for inflation, you, $15 is the right amount. Uh, it could probably be done better if it was done incrementally, it's but so quite frankly, it's long overdue, and the alternative is leaving 40 million people in poverty. Um, uh, the majority of people on low-income jobs are adults and not teenagers. Um... Anything less than fifteen dollars an hour is not enough. To, not enough to lift people out of poverty, which affects forty point six million people. Potentially, one point three million people could be, lose their jobs uh, due to a recent wage hike. However, this number pales in comparison to the amount of people it will actually help. Um, adjusting for inflation, uh, the current this minimum is, wage is only uh, worth actually six ten in terms of buying power as of twenty nineteen, and it's probably much likely uh, much lower now due to uh, recent events. Ironically, the states with a low with a lower minimum wage or no minimum wage, the red states, fourteen of them, I could read them all out here, but I don't have time. I agree, Ivana. Um, yep, I know. Have uh, red states are more likely to have a lower minimum wage, and blue states, only five of them actually have a minimum wage at seven twenty five. So red states are actually more likely to benefit from this, and thus Republican voters are likely stand to gain more than Democrat voters, which usually seems to be the opposition here. I study them by the Economic Policy Institute. This is a really good one, though. This is a really good one. I gave extra really time. I gave extra time there. Um, this is a really good one, though. I've got a really good one here, though. All right, fine. Go yeah, first. Yeah, your, you'll be your first comment, uh, and then finish it, and then so everyone else can jump in. Okay. Um, I studied them by the EPI Holy Economic shit. Policy Institute found that for every one dollar wage rise among workers horrible. in the bottom three yeah. wage deciles, government spending on assistant programs falls by roughly five point two billion. Following this line of logic, an almost eight dollar wage increase could save them up to forty one point six billion. Okay. All right. Um. Everyone else. Yeah. Um. I think the the thing that always irritates me is that we we don't see like mass job loss or inflate or horrible inflation cycles ever actually happen when this is implemented what you have is you have um usually multi-billionaires um crying and whining about how they're going to lose um you know they're gonna they're oh we're gonna have to raise the prices but in reality we live in a country where most of the money is concentrated at the top our um economic inequality in the united states in 2021 is like unlike i think people have compared it uh comparable to the 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 difference between the the, the like peasants of egypt and the pharaohs like we are at an, an unprecedented i'm serious i'm dead serious like there's credible arguments that show that that's the level of inequality we're on so yeah um if it we're, we're we're trying to find it's like that you know that drill tweet with the like uh help i'm trying to feed my family here's my monthly budget thirty six hundred dollars candles guess what you slash the candle budget a little bit we need to slash the amount of percentage that's going to the fucking billionaires because guess what i i i, I have a feeling that we'll be able to find plenty of money to keep the economy going and guess what the economy would probably be better and you know what maybe a couple of of multi-billionaires couple of millionaires won't be able to afford another yacht but i think they'll be fine with just one yacht and i think that all of the people who will then be living eating breathing producing making art will enrich our society to a degree unlike any that we can imagine and that's why i think we should push i i happen to agree with redneck i think we should push for much more than a 15 um dollar minimum wage we should push for much higher than that in fact i would love Fuck to yeah. see us um just pay just outright say no one has to pay for food water internet and a home i would love that i would absolutely and, love that i think our society would be I, I, it would be like uh, amazing yeah what was the last thing you said? I just say the, the 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 last thing you listed because you cut out. Food, oh. water, internet. Yeah, food, water, internet, internet housing, healthcare, all of those things. Okay. I would love it if our if our government took care of that. I I would be willing to say I think we would enter a new era of humanity that we can't even imagine yet if we had those Sh things taken care of. Shadows and then um. Okay, so you made some points about the multimillionaires and billionaires. Um, I think. Any anyone, even most right wingers agree, was I don't give a fuck what those people cry about. I think when it comes to a corporate minimum wage, 
we should have a corporate minimum wage of 20 to 25, honestly, because I think most of those corporations can pay for it. I think we can have a corporate minimum wage above 15. I think 15 is probably like a bare minimum, honestly. Um, but while we're talking about, you know, minimum wages, I think something important to point out is that, you know, we, sh I understand that, you know, th it is necessary for, you know, people who are working full time hey, back, and need to live off of their job. I think 15 makes sense, but I think we should, there needs to be a different minimum wage for people who are listed as dependents or are part-time workers, especially for like, you know, younger kids okay. who are entering the workforce because I don't generally think but why why means like tested in such a strange way they're doing labor they're doing the same labor as anybody else that doesn't make any sense the fact of the matter can, is that wait wait hold on the fact of the matter is is that right now about this right now we subsidize the hell out of massive corporations like if, if it's uh, and I, I thought you were going to go a totally different direction here but but uh i don't think that there's any reason why your age or your job experience should immediately just just automatically downgrade what wage you get pay people fairly what the fuck is wrong with people and 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 it's funny you can know I, it's really can, funny can I, I know you're trying to jump in but um but uh yeah I, I for some reason i doubt you have anything meaningful to say it's a good um, thing it's it's, yeah. it's not it's not no it's it's, it's good so, it is good sure. it's not, um, but I, and can i was going to be respectful like, to you sure uh, 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 finish. And then we have to go to smug because we're waiting patiently. Yeah, we um, I, I just think that, like, I think that um, maybe people don't outright say that they care about the the pockets of billionaires. But there's a really great quote um, that I think has always summed up my approach to, like, my understanding of like how Americans approach the economy, which is that Americans don't think of themselves as impoverished or poor. They think of themselves as temporarily embarrassed millionaires. Well, guess what? You're never, you're probably never going to be a millionaire. None of us here are ever going to probably be millionaires. Um, and uh, the reason for that is because you're kept out of it. There is no escaping. It's it's so rare to escape the cycle of poverty. The poverty cycle in America is is like an iron death trap, and you you often are born poor and you die poor, and it's horrible. Okay, uh, smug, and then we'll go to red. Yeah. So, unfortunately, so to um, to Demon's point in regards to inflation, like and this is one of the stats I was gonna bring up before I had to fucking speed read. So effectively, um, between 1978 through 2015, we have found that with a 10 percent 10 percent increase in minimum wage has only accounted for approximately 0 0.36 increase in prices. So thus far, numerically, in what we see in reality, increasing minimum wage does not have Probably a one-to-one -one -one correlation or net negative correlation to um, inflation in regards to prices and how they operate. <laughs> um, now, in regards <laughs> to um, like unemployment and if that goes, um, I've been trying to find it. I haven't found anything that correlates increased wage with job loss so but someone in chat wants to hit me up with that thank you um regards to shadows um i think oh. i disagree with you a little bit but it's just i hope you get a piano op three two three one like, and one corporation is just hey, like Jessica Metal, good to see you. so like literally even like small like small business as could be corporations however that's where it's a demon mama's point i would say that's when you tax the motherfuckers who are making the big money and the us keep it up top um Yep, so, for sure. example, what we could see when we compare poverty rates with other countries is that the U.S. has double, and compared to most yeah, people, agree, countries, the U.S. has double the poverty rate. However, though, when we then look at how those other countries tax their businesses and their ultra wealthy people, it's a complete reverse. It's almost like when Not you yet, get the money we'll see. that is being culminated at the top and bring it back and put it into circulation again. It's almost like that helps the economy and it helps people. And it's almost like that's how a capitalistic system should operate with money being fluid, not not going upward and then stagnating at the top. Like, I mean, like, mo I think most of us on this panel are capitalists. So we understand. So we have a right. A I mean, that's the that's the, the ghost that's hanging over all of this. Adam work. Flores, I agree. OK, right neck for Dean. So my question, I mean, I'm going to make a statement with a question and then I want to follow it with another statement. But my statement was to, I mean, my statement to do my mom originally was why are we sitting at 15? It was a real thing. And this is why. If you know what a 100% disabled veteran gets paid per month, percent disabled veteran means he cannot do anything, right? That person cannot do anything. 2000. Does anybody know? 2K, right? It's $3,100. $100 a month. Mm-hmm. That's basically fifteen dollars an hour chat. for a forty-hour oh, week. Oh, food's here. Work week. 
Fawn, will you bring it so into me? I'm so hungry. If we expect your I veterans who are completely this. disabled to live off of the standard living of that price. Do they earn more as well if you raise it above that? Do we think about the veterans? Do we think about the, the people that are receiving are receiving federal benefits or rights already yeah. with a fixed income base based yes. off of what the government gives them? Yes. Have we yeah. thought about that? Yes. Yeah. Because that's where I'm at. I I, yeah. I believe, and I, and I know I've said this very crass before, and so here's the question. Is a human life worth per hour? Because honestly, people, about here. Whenever we make changes out here and say, hey, we want $15 an hour, it does affect veterans' pay. It does affect He's welfare. Just, it does affect all these other services issue. because it does create a financial um, structure that it, it creates that scale, right? It's Because they, they're part of the consumer class. A 100% disabled veteran that receives – that's no that's no dependent. So that brings up um, Shadow's thing, right? So you we'll, should we'll, also what be if they have a, a child? Yeah, like if you don't mind, because like from a, because I'm I'm socked and I fucking preach that shit all the time. Like in regards to your social services, yeah, we would we ought to improve all those social services and safety nets as well, and you can do both. Like, and I I'd contend that but we don't. We're not fucking, talking about it, bro. But smug, we're yeah, not talking we about. should it. be. We should be, and I talk okay. about this bit shit all the fucking time. Likewise, man. same. Like, and the thing is, if you advocate for a capitalistic society, Sheer. you ought to. Um, and if you understand it, you ought to um, encourage social services because you understand that within a capitalist society, not what? everybody can be rich. That what necessarily it requires on? a percentage of our population to be in poverty without a job. So therefore, if you are engaging, want to engage in a capitalist society and don't advocate for these social safety nets, then then at least then you'd have to concede that you are just arbitrarily um, allotting Thank you, and like That's advocating fair. for the harm of people for needless reasons. Go ahead, Vadim. Absolutely, that should be getting receiving more funds. Um, I think it's a travesty that they don't. Um, it does blow my mind, though, um, Redneck, that you were going on and on about, like, what can we do? What can we do? Who, what is anyone going to do about this situation? And this is something that can help remedy the situation. I hate to eat my food. And you're just like, nope, food, nope, food, nope. Food. Um, so that's that's just bizarre I'm to me. excited to have food. Um, uh, Shadows, I, I, I wanted to engage with you uh, uh, about mm. uh, about about mm. your um, statement about um, uh, I, I guess it was uh, in terms of really people entering the, the workforce. Again, I would so. think that oh, these are by okay. and large people who Thank you. need to start um, Food. accumulating Fried cash chicky. both for um, call it for for higher education. I'll be ready for um, having some sort of security as they, they go on. We know that um, the that just uh, people, not, not not just youth, but, but those who are uh, teens to, yep. like, I think, 30s are... Conservatives um, treat veterans like shit. Not that great right now. Like shit. Within our society when it comes to um, mm. the amount of money that they make. And so, so I, I'm Fresh, just, delicious attendees. Uh, perhaps I'm not articulating this as well as I could, but, but don't you think that these are worthwhile reasons to give those who are entering the workforce the same amount of money that others who are doing the, the same kind of work are, are receiving? Um, okay, so to respond to that, um, yeah, so to clarify one thing. Um, yeah, I should. I was saying people who are do, um, so good. listed as dependents are doing part-time work. Cheese I'm not as sure as on, on the second one. That'd be awesome. I think people who are getting part-time work and, you know, maybe already have a full-time job, they're probably doing it because they probably want some extra cash or they're probably trying to accumulate capital partners. for something. So I'm fine with them getting 15. But two live with me, two I'm do saying, not. I'm saying, so here's... They are Popeyes, yep. Here's, I, I'm not trying to do like a head ass like basic economic libertarian no, argument. I'm, these are from I'm not trying to do that. I swear to God. You need to preface that. What the minimum wage is, is it is a price floor within the labor market. It is the government saying you cannot sell your labor for any less than this dollar amount. There might be I people can't, more You'll willing find them yourself to work though. for a certain kind of job. It can be an effective price floor in certain areas. Apologies. Um, and this is going to bring to my second point. Um, but there are more people willing to supply that work than people are demanding. And I think when people are entering the workforce, maybe, you know, in high school, in college, and their parents are still- Two of my partners live with me and two don't. Their, um, you know, their um, 
well-being. Um, you know, I can talk about that after if you want fair to. to say that they may not have the skills that make it worth fifteen dollars an hour. And so, while they are dependents of someone else, you have a lower wage that allows them to, you know, get the skills of working somewhere for a year or two, and then make, and then their work will be worth fifteen dollars an hour. And my second point is, when you have um, when people are less willing to, uh, uh, the thing about fifteen dollars is they will accelerate. Yeah, you get chicken marinara, yum. And it's I forgot to mention that in my opening statement, but it, that is something important we need to consider. Is that that was number eleven? Be, I didn't get there. The, well, yeah. The thing is, the idea of job a loss biscuit. because of you know higher wages, it won't be happening because people are unwilling. To I can talk about poly stuff after these this. Jobs. They're just gonna find a fast. They're just gonna automate it faster. I can talk about that after. We'll um, talk about poly stuff. I, I have the answer to this. Please. I know what we could do. Someone, uh, 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 shadows. I feel like this is not your best work at <laughs> this time, honestly. Um, go ahead, spoon. Uh, give it a try. I I didn't get to the end of my eleven my eleven crucial points. Okay, my eleven mantras of the fifteen dollar minimum wage. Very important reading. Yeah, I think we could. Uh, the eleven point Derek. of I think the we eleven could. mantras mm -hmm. of the fifteen minimum fifteen dollar minimum wage is um uh maybe it was the tenth one. Hold on. <laughs> Automation is coming one way or another, right? Automation is coming one way or another. We're we're moving towards that one way or another. Whether you have a fifteen dollar minimum wage or not. It's not really going to change the outcome sure, I'll of the talk future about poly of stuff after this. Do you know what? Do you know what would be a great idea? Some sort of based idea to potentially combat this. Being oh, that the, the automation is the sort of the way in which we produce things. The, let's say the means of production. The biscuits are we good. We could take those for the people, and then they would work for the people, and then we wouldn't have to worry about not having jobs. Yeah, sure. Send it over, Yavano. Okay. Um, uh, so, uh, uh, what? <laughs> no, I, I think that's a great idea. I mean, I, I think what he's basically can, uh, I ask you to clarify. I think what you're saying is like, you know, maybe this is oh, uh, cool, kind of a Moki. simplistic way oh, of putting it. Oh, thank you so much. Well, but I'll do my best say, to keep uh, uh, living up to that. Joe Robot working as a cashier at a Walmart. Um, Joe Kaczynski. I don't know why I came up with that last name. Uh, it, he 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 ends up getting the 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 funds that uh, that would have gone to the robot. Uh, it, 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 I, I'm doing a horrible job of of like explaining this, but is that what kind of what you mean by? Um, because because that doesn't sound so bad to me. If we're in a situation in which I'm lost. there is like a. Uh, super Chicken's good though. Job. Okay. Chicken's good. All right, uh, respond to that spoon, and then I'm gonna. If no one's gonna respond properly to what uh, uh, Shadow said, then I'll do it. Go ahead, spoon. Oh, um, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I was focusing on chat a little bit there, but I think I got the okay. gist of what you were and saying. Then I'll, I'll uh, do it then. Uh, spoon. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, uh, Shadows. Um, my problem is is that uh, this nonsense about um, kids, right? Uh, their labor being uh, automatically devalued because they have parents. What? Huh? What? No, that's not what I'm saying. No, no, that's what you said. You said like, oh, well, uh, as long as they have their parents um, who could uh, possibly support them, that's one reason why you would give them uh, less wages, right? Um, and um, uh, like, I think this is an absolutely nonsense point. Like, um, you know, you don't know the uh, person's family situation, and none of that Holy actually shit. matters. If can you DM doing that a job, to me on right? Discord? Regardless, they have the quote unquote skill, right? Like, Yvonne, if they're doing the can job. You DM first that to me on Discord. Not, Holy uh, shit, I want to look then over this. They, don't have the this will be really be funny to, fun to go over so afterwards. So that you're doing the job, then their wages uh, should be equal to everyone else. It makes no sense yeah, to have he did. a tiered, he did say the uh, system where people of um, some sort of uh, criteria don't get full wages. So why wouldn't we have everyone being fifteen dollars uh, an hour minimum wage? You can respond. I I, I mean I, I don't know. Maybe this is just me, but I feel like someone who's working their first ever job. I I I, I just find it. Money. They need money, just like anyone who's working their twentieth job. Okay, can I explain this? No, no, yeah, no, no. Uh, I want to uh, do this with you for a quick second. They need money like yeah. anyone working their twentieth job. Why, why wouldn't they need as much money? They're, if they're, if I'm picking up the same amount of boxes, moving or creating the same amount of widgets, why would I need not need the same amount of money? Well, because okay, the thing is, like, if someone <laughs> yeah, maybe, we'll go look over it. I'll look over it afterwards. More than maybe it should be full time. Maybe, maybe that's the better standard. Work is My work. My thing is, oh, 
uh, work if is I'm work. Doing, if I'm working for a certain number of hours, right? Working for a certain number of hours, whether it be full time for part time, right? Creating widgets. I've created your widgets until I need to be paid. Do I don't think a 17 year old or a 16 year old working their first summer job getting paid fifteen dollars an hour. I feel like that's just kind of that's kind of high. Hold on a second. Let me explain well, something real quick. I think I can step in on this. The first, Sorry. by the way, just so you know, the first job that I did, um, the first job I ever worked in my life was um, blueberry raking. And just so you know, most of the other people on that job were, um, and I got, I got, I did really bad at it because you're paid by the bushel, not by the hour. And the people who succeeded that job are ripped as fuck and were tearing through the blueberry bushes. Um, but just so you know, that wasn't exactly like an easy job. It's a manual labor job. A 17-year-old? A, a, a like myself at the time, could do it. And I did do it. Um, but that doesn't mean that I didn't work. You know what I mean? It's like, there's all kinds of jobs that you pick, you should get paid the work for the work that you do. What what does age or dependency status have anything to do with it? This just sounds like a really and weird have, way of like means testing money. Absolutely no idea yep. your situation, right? So a 17 year old, what? A 17 year old uh, could be that supporting be your entire family, right? Oh, but they're 17. So I'm assuming, right, as a policy maker, that you must not actually need money like everyone else, right? A 17 year old can have all kinds of op obligations on their side. In any case, the 17 year old did the same job as the 45 year who might be working there for I, I the reason why wouldn't they get the paid the same? Can I? I, I was using the example of a 17 or a 16 year old yeah. who would be listed as a dependent on someone's tax. But form. then that's bad. That's a still a bad. Yeah, dependency is is still a terrible way of of doing this. But again, the, the easy way is to not put any barriers to people getting the money that they uh, deserve. Like this yeah, is not that'd be ass nine because that completely fuck over like college because if you go to college early then you're doubly fucked you know because, shadows of liberty you know, he's a kid people still qualify as dependents to stay on health insurance when they go to college yeah i didn't know they're 26 that. so it's like this idea that like yeah exactly like that or your parents just, just like just create these arbitrary standards and like one thing oh i want to just okay okay sorry okay if you're trying to right. separate Sorry. If you're trying to uh, get some sort of independence from your parents, right, and they've listed you as a dependent, all of a sudden that cuts your wages? Like, this is nonsense. Like, up and down. This can is a terrible I, okay, argument. Okay, Jesus Christ. Uh, can I see a man in his position? Can I? I said so. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, cool. Okay. All right. So, so basically, li listen, I'm I'm more on your side, Prime. I'm, I'm, I'm basically on everybody else's side, but I'm going to steal man shadows, and I'm going to try to back him up a little bit, okay? So we're it's talking weird. about well, principle. silent. It's been much weirder. Should you may have missed the earlier part. A, a living wage. We're also talking yep. about. Yep. Should, I know. Uh, I know. Fucking, should, I know. Should a teenage employee make anything yeah. less than his fucking peers? Both. No, them. not necessarily. But there are realities here. And the fucking reality of it is that there is work that some people can't afford to pay at fifteen dollars an hour. Ch and for for instance, chopping up fucking wood in somebody's fucking backyard because they have a wind felled tree. That's something that people do all the fucking time. And basically the alternative is literally just being illegal. Just paying people under the fucking table and, not, not, and not paying them the state This wages. is a misrepresentation. Hold on, hold on, I'm not even close to fucking done yet. So not only that, but basically if you're talking about you want to incentivize businesses to hire young people in order I wish to I knew. get in, basically to get them into the workforce so they can start learning fucking yeah. skills in order to be valuable members of society. So if you have reduced wages from 16 to 18, where you're getting paid 10 bucks an hour or 12 bucks an hour instead of 15 bucks an hour or whatever, the, the business is going to hire the well, less hey, experienced, good you're getting rest bumbly, least. stupid fucking blueberry raker who is only bringing in a third of the bushels as everybody else who's been doing it for fucking decades because they're going to hire that person because they're effectively paying them 30 or 40 percent less. So you you're an idiot. deny that reality watch this, but it's watch fucking this. Real. okay like you're actually you're actually it's incredibly ridiculous. stupid because no no i are just saying that a bad employee right um uh should be paid less well or like for any a play if they can't do the job then they shouldn't be doing no, the no, job no, no. right no, no, no. You, you read something into it and i want to i want to steal man myself i'm not saying a bad employee i'm saying a new employee it takes time oh. to break people oh, wait wait so hold on a second then i guess you should be paid for any new job, that would be the case. For any new job, that would be the case. Again, okay, if you're you... doing, and, and that's part of uh, uh, a paying an employee, since we have humans and not robots doing our jobs, right? Well, then yes, it takes time for people to learn how to do it. So uh, at, w at what point uh, does the employer have to be forced to raise their wages, right? Like, do we have to wait? Do we have to actually have uh, uh, 
uh, metrics, right? Uh, to see, like, you, okay, that's that, that, okay. Uh, like, this is phenomenally dumb. Can you know, I stop on, in on before, this? Before I, I, I'm happy to that, yell that. Is, like the the simplest way is simply to pay them like per bushel, right? If that's the okay. case. Like, um, pay them per thing, and then uh, uh, again, you, you do it fair. Like, you you're paying I'm, them. Yeah, for you're actual Listen, I want to make look. Listen. I want to make one more point, and then oh I'm happy God, to be okay. yelled at for the next ten minutes. Okay, one more point. Okay, I get it. I'm with you on principle, and if anything, I agree with you. However, I'm just talking about real world application. Okay. If I'm an employer and my options are hiring a 16 year old and paying him $15 an hour or hiring a 20 year old who already has two years or three years or four years of business experience and not, not business specifically, but like related experience. And I'm going to pay them the same, same wage. I am going to hire the 20 year old 100% of the yes, time. Yes. Yes. Okay. And that, now okay. you can yell at me. This is really okay. funny. Uh, wait. There's like four, I, wait no no come on like I've been trying to get in here for like an hour like this is ridiculous okay so like I'm gonna go to you next um, or the 24 year old who has that experience can uh, 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 negotiate for a higher price which is exactly what we do um, uh, within our society right you have that experience you get to negotiate for a higher price so go um, ahead Dean Mom yeah okay so um, the 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 argument that like oh you will never you won't be able to hire someone to rake your lawn uh because if there's a fifteen dollar minimum wage you'll have to do that no 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 we already have systems by which you can do spot contract work that's not formal employment that that has nothing to do this is literally just a stupid red herring and meaningless secondly I already talked about the fact that at the b blueberry picking job I was paid by the bushel now I don't know if that was necessarily fair seeing as how I was um not really given any training whatsoever um and just expected to d just uh immediately start scooping but there's another thing that happens if you have this absolutely asinine policy of for some reason paying 17 and 18 year olds um less than everybody else then this is what ends up happening mcdonald's and and uh hard labor jobs will be staffed exclusively with with 16 17 and 18 year olds and then they'll get fired the moment they actually turn 19 or 18 whichever wherever you put these stupid lines they'll get fired immediately and immediately replaced with somebody else there is no reason like i don't understand why you would why you would choose this as your hill to die on uh like but it's a completely dumb policy like it's uh, not th it's not a hill to die on okay well i mean maybe not for you oh. but it was for shadow so like that's fine okay, i mean well, you wanted well, to double like matryoshka steel man arguments or whatever like it's fine sure. this is a silly argument the fact of the matter is it's people fine. should be paid for their labor and guess what while there is indeed a varying level of, of job performance we don't pay people less while they're in training be and there's a reason for that because that would be exploitative mm -hmm. we also um, don't allow children to work in factory jobs anymore because that would be exploitative We should try to get rid of exploitation to not try to find weird wiggle worm ways of justifying it in ways that bend our society backwards and fuck over random tiny people Okay, the uh, sorry shadows you, you can go Okay, so first of all, I would like to say that I, I First of all, I appreciate your eloquence um <laughs> For being able to articulate and your articulation there, um, I do think age would make more sense if they are not living Dumb. on their own. Um, and th this is the point I'm trying to make. There's like there there's inexperienced labor that is not always going to be worth fifteen dollars an hour. If you have the choice between inexperience and experience, you are always going to choose experience. There's a, we need to like make sure that like, you know, people entering the workforce, like it, it, it's just, I feel like it's, these jobs are going to be taken up by people who already have work years and we need to be able to make sure that these people can like get their first job. I like, so, I, I, hey, I guess what? I can make the same argument for a $1 minimum wage. Jeez, there's just there's just some work that's not worth $1 an hour. You know, you got to pay people 50 cents. No, see, the th wait, wait, but... What do you mean it's not true? Then it's just as arbitrary for me to say that all labor being done is worth at least $15 an hour. That's why we call it a minimum oh wage. Oh my God. Okay, let, I'm, going to, I'm going to explain this again. I don't think what you are because you failed you, so far and you're, you're already failing right now. No, when you implement a, when you implement a, a wage floor, which is similar to a price floor, you have a supply and demand. Supply is going to be more than demand. 
the people willing to work $15 an hour is going to be more than the amount of jobs available at simply 15. There are going to be people who are more experienced in work competing with people who are inexperienced. I have no idea so, what you said there. None of that yeah, was coherent. I have the solution. No, oh mm. my God. Like, I have yeah, the Unless hopefully it's a serious one. Okay, this is this is this is a serious solution, right? So, uh, there, there is credence to the argument Sarge that small John, businesses are going to struggle to pay a fifteen dollar minimum wage. There, there is legitimate credence to that, um, and there, there is uh, legitimate credence to the idea that, like, perhaps they might prefer to hire some other workers if well, some other workers if they're going to have to pay them that much. However, there's a solution to this. Let me introduce you to a negative income tax bracket. If you're say, for example, like a special class of worker, Based. like you're uh, like underage or something. Um, or you work for like a small business who is comes under like a certain amount of income per year, um, then you can get paid under that wage. Your business is paying under you that wage, and the rest of your wage is subsidized for the fact that you're in a negative income tax bracket. There you go, fifteen dollar minimum go. wage well, for everybody, and it doesn't harm I, the small businesses. I would I would agree and disagree with that because uh, because for the sole reason though it's a it's because there's a loophole in that that gets co opted. For example, Walmart they do they do the thing they do it with like people with disabilities all the time where they'll use this. They'll effectively use they'll hire people with disabilities who they know otherwise can't. I mean, I don't know about that, Mizuko. I've made content for him. Job, he should be paying me, you know, to be honest. And it's nothing against them. However, though Walmart, for example, they would take these people and hire up and fill most of the store with them, basically, so that do you know how boring his stream is normally? While Walmart ultimately makes an even greater profit, basically utilizing that system. You know, and it, it's used, you know, like in a way that, like, so obviously this could, can easily be resolved, though, with, uh, with, um, true. Some, I don't, I don't see a problem there. They love their, their, their the, the problem is using a directly, the, the issue is, is, um, ex directly exploiting people, like, because, like, and keep in mind, uh, these people who are being hired here are, they're still only getting minimum wage, so they're still not even fucking getting a standard of living. Um, but it's a system that thus far within certain co companies, are using it still in a exploitative manner, Wait, that's not, like that's in, it's, not in, in a major that's not on a major corporate level, not on a small no, business that's not, level. That, that's not well, number one. That's not accurate. Number one, because Walmart is not a small business, so they automatically be exempt. Number two, the idea is that what, what Walmart is doing, it's not about hiring disabled people. It's that uh, Walmart's able. Walmart is getting subsidized for hiring people who are on welfare or who are receiving state assistance, and then mm -hmm. they get subsidized from the government for hiring those people, and then they like hire those people but don't give them full time wages. So then those people then go back right. and then they're still able to qualify for actual welfare. That's the loophole that also uh, right. also uh, people with that's, disabilities. That's a totally separate thing. Yeah, also people with disabilities are, um, in many cases uh, in the United States, currently capable of being paid less than minimum wage, which I think is also disgusting. I also think it's disgusting that, um, just because this was something I've been wanting to touch on for this entire time since Redneck brought it up, um, which is um, the, I, the fact that um, people with disabilities in this country aren't allowed to have any wealth. They're not allowed to have holdings above what they make, what they're, what they're given per month. I think, like, for... Um, I don't know about for veterans, but I, I know um, the number like 2K approximately has been thrown out 2 to 2.4K is about where it is. But yeah, you can't even have side income. You can't even invest. You're literally not allowed to be uh, to escape poverty. And that I, I think is dis is disgusting and dehumanizing. $1,800 Social Security yeah, that's what disabled. I SSDI is 1800 bucks a month for an individual. Uh, I, I, I've, you know, I've dealt with that system and I, I know exactly how brutal that can be. Um, uh, right mm -hmm. now. Go ahead, uh, Shadows. Um, okay, so first of um, to re I mean, first of all, I think we would all agree that, you know, preventing, um, you know, disabled people from investing in that kind of stuff is really wrong. It's the government treating wow. disabled people like children. I think they should also be able to make side earnings and whatnot. Um, mm -hmm. But specifically to respond to what uh, Sneaky said, um, I, I like that answer pretty fucking based. I'm a huge shill for the negative income tax. Um, I, I think that is actually a pretty good answer. If, uh, I mean, that's something I have always said that we need to have a negative income tax for independent people to make sure people always have a standard of living. Um, so I, I totally agree with that. And then, oh God, there was something earlier, but I fucking lost it. Fuck. Can I, Sorry. yeah, let me, I just wanna, I wanna back up and also uh, <laughs> thank Spoon. So, so basically, can like, I just say that me and Demon Mama actually agreed on something tonight? Can I just get that out there? 
Holy fuck, nice. people, y'all missed it, and we actually Basically. agreed on something? True, true, Based. we did, for fuck's sake. Um, so, Take a win. No, but yeah. I just, I, no, I just want to thank you for, you know, five to nine sometimes. Okay, go ahead, Connor. <laughs> Yeah, I just wanted to thank Spoon because I think Shadow that, like, is a he was able to address our 17, so, so 18. What, what's interesting is like, so you can bring up a counter argument that is used. Um, so for instance, like we want to employ young people, but that doesn't mean that there isn't a All different right, I'm solution. back in the game. And All my food I, is that's done. What I love I'm about nice and Spoon full. So effectively, like Shadow's and my concern is something that we've heard in conservative and uh, fiscally conservative circles yeah, for I a agree, really long time, which is basically no, I like, agree with you. Jack the minimum wage too much. People aren't going to be willing to pay it. People who would otherwise be employed are not going to be able to employ. But Full of food uh, and ready to go. What you could do is you could do you a missed, fucking um, subsidy. Some fun you could stuff, do a fucking yeah. subsidy for fucking young people. You could do a subsidy for no, 16 I don't think it's happening. But that maybe. way they're guaranteed that employment. They get their experience. Energized. They become, uh, you know, um, valued members of the workforce. They build up that experience. And like that, that, that to me is like the more intelligent conversation is like, we have problems. We're bringing up the problems. What are the solutions? And like some of these are real problems. So, so that's where I don't like, like Prime and Demon, like, these are real decisions that business businesses make and there will be effe people affected by this policy mm -hmm. you can appeal to principle and we should be better human beings but in a capitalist system we're not so well i think but, it's I'm important though there are no studies supporting what you're saying counterpoints like I, I i was going to argue your point because i've always heard my, my whole life that yes if we jack up the minimum wage then it's going to really hurt small businesses we're going to like massively increase um, unemployment. I've heard that forever, and now I'm looking, and it seems like it's been done around the country and in various places. And every study that I'm looking I mean, at true, now, I mean, or all the, it, I'm looking at it seems like the, everything I'm reading keeps saying that all the studies support the idea that it's not Probably. going to increase unemployment. So unless you're just going off of some top hmm. point that you heard from other Republicans, back yeah, in you're day, probably right. I'll probably tell me any up. study that actually supports what it's you're good idea, about? I don't think that's true anymore. No. And here's where I would like the Republican oh. Party to go. Hold on, I'll let I'll let Shadows answer it, and then I, I I'm gonna tell you where I would like the right wing to go. So the right wing actually used to care, uh, or at least pretend to care, um, in, through the 50s through the 80s. They used to care about American families. They used to care about family values. And you know what's great about family values is having a dad around who can pay your fucking bills who still has enough energy at the end of the day to throw the baseball with you in the fucking backyard. And you know what he can't yeah, do I'm pretty if close he's to working 70-hour yeah, fucking accurate. weeks? Is he can't throw the I don't really like uh, titles or whatever, but backyard. that's pretty close. And it's the same thing with your fucking mom. If your dad has to be employed in 1.5 jobs, and then your mom has to be employed in one fucking job, how are you going to raise a happy, healthy family that avoids, like, uh, criminality or other, like, antisocial behaviors? You're not going to be able to. So effectively, I want to take your arguments and your studies. I want to fucking turn it into a boiling furnace and hold Republicans' feet to it, that if they actually give a fuck about American families, then they would increase the standard of living of working class and middle class people. Okay, um, so you're on our side. One of you, 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 so you like the idea of this minimum wage for sure, then? Yeah. No, okay. Uh, Shadows, you get to respond. Um, so I was going to say is I have seen these studies, and you know, Fanag, you are 100 percent true. You know, increasing the minimum wage is not going to increase unemployment because people are not going to be okay, so you know, able doing... to pay. But, but there is an issue, and there is um, what this will do is this will create an incentive to automate more jobs and learn to automate faster. Okay. Wait. Like, like this is just true. So Wait, but that's a good a thing. In what society, in what society is it a bad thing that we have to do less overall labor only in our backwards, completely upside down uh, capitalist society? Is it a bad thing that we learn how to automate jobs that people don't like to do? It's ridiculous. Like, and this is one of the things that, that drives me nuts. It's like all of these, all of these little questions like, well, what happens about small businesses that can't afford $15 minimum wage? Well, then we find a subsidy for them. The goal is to give people equitable pay for the work that they do and what we need to do then is build close the loopholes so that, that that can actually happen it doesn't really matter the technicalities of how we get there when the goal is to actually build a better society why should we be why should we be as a, and this is why i said earlier that i feel like the far right in america is holding back 
all of humanity and not just America, but everywhere else. And that's because right now we should be rushing and being willing to embrace automation. Automation has the potential to make our lives easier and better. There should be less people out there having to put themselves in danger of viruses, less people having to do jobs that they hate to do, but we're afraid. Of, of, of automation. We're afraid of automation because we know deep down, all of these people know that our society is so unjust that if automation, if a technological advancement comes around, we have no safety net and it will kill people. We should not be afraid of it. We should not be afraid of automation, but we are. And I would argue that we need to change society in order to actually make that not the case because we should be embracing the advancement of humanity we should be embracing the advancement of society the advancement of art and technology but we don't because all we care about is fucking profit okay was mean, uh, uh, me yeah okay. I, I i've been terrified to speak since i talked about robots earlier i apologize for that i didn't sleep well last night um but it's it's a good Yo, argument for i'm glad you liked actually. it have it a good night nice carbonated peach robot milk stand in for me right now but really, um, I just um, wanted to ask, um, uh, how long are we going? Because um, I, I, I'm just curious. I, I'm sorry. I, I, I just, um, I, I, I'm just. I'm calling you because I was literally trying to. I was trying to end, end things. But, okay, it's fine. Up? Is Vosh oh, yeah. my cousin? Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that's, Vosh that's is not my cousin. I had to ask. I have nothing meaningful to add whatsoever. Oh, you're right, Busy so, B. I'll put that um, one on. Okay. Good right, idea. So then we'll go to uh, we'll go to final statements then. Um, Timestamp. Right. So, <laughs> oh five forty one. Uh, we'll go to um, Spoon first. My closing statement is: there is literally no argument for not implementing this into society. You are stupid if you think so. Okay. Oh, uh, in other thing. Uh, also, uh, tell people where to find you. I'll do that. And before tonight. that, oh. uh, the, uh, are we not doing the bonus topic? I wanted to talk about guns. No, this bonus topic is. Uh, um, in case we uh, that was another the topic doesn't work out, and don't so then for remember we do more after um, this. We got more time. politics um, after this. But to my honest members, my honest members, hey, don't no need to leave. First of all, follow me. Same follow here. Me, don't uh, leave yet. Um, we do these uh, uh, panels all the we time. We do more after this. Um, uh, we have interesting people come and have my cousin is in So then, should she please give me a follow? Um, uh, uh, what was going but to I happen? Like now we're going to go on to a walk-on panel. Right after this, a walk-on panel. So the stream is not ending. The stream is not ending. Oh, God, the stream is not ending. So there's no need to True, go it's anywhere. Not Thank you very much. Okay. So follow me. You haven't followed me yet. Um, sub to me if you're not currently sub. That's how you keep this uh, content coming your way. All right? Can't do it without you. Can't do it without <laughs> your support. Uh, beyond Thanks, that, uh, donate bits, donate subs. Or no, Vosh is a... Vosh and I are donate mutually chat. awesome There's another way uh, you can uh, help support the something. channel. Guys, need your help uh, to make this happen. Donations have been pretty uh, lax. All right, fine. So Vosh is my cousin. Out, there you go. Help this channel uh, uh, keep going. Then I would be very much appreciative. All right. Um, so uh, Dancing Spoon, um, uh, tell people where they can find you, and then we'll go to everyone else's one. Uh, so I'm Dancing Spoon Zero One, aka Sneaky Debate Man. Uh, I can Large cousin Ian. I can myself out in chat because I'm, I'm a pretty big deal around here. I usually stream more in the GMT time, uh, for for about 5 p.m. I, I say some smart things sometimes. I have some base True. takes. True. Maybe you could follow me. I would appreciate that. That's not what defective means. Okay. Um, Large ahead, laddie. Uh, smug pug. Uh, yeah. As the closer, um, yeah, there really isn't. There really hasn't really been any argument brought up here against uh, upping the minimum wage by all indications there isn't any like negative factors to it and any negative factors that are being referenced can easily be resolved through social safety net systems oh my god yeah so it's like if people are getting fired well guess what true what uncle gumbled increasing um welfare and social security programs are for oh people lost their health care because their insurance was dependent on their job well now they got fucking insurance anyways um where i can be reached um pretty much any fucking like edgy debate panel effectively i'm probably lurking in the chat somewhere or on the panel itself uh hey, my that's awesome, later, i don't know um if you like spoon i states, did i um, saw that i heard that monkey rocks it made me feel good i dunked his ass all the time before so oh yeah fuck you <laughs> <laughs> that is a lie that is a uh, lie <laughs> i'll bring the tapes show the tape okay uh, moving on. So, uh, thanks for that. Um, Bouncing. next we'll go to, uh, Redneck. Redneck, thanks for being here. Um, yes, good job, Red Dog. You. Um, name's Redneck with a Q. It has nothing to do with QAnon. Uh, underscore TM on Twitch, Redneck everywhere else. Um, I need to thank Danibo and Kurt for ca calling out and saying, hey, you want to come on the panel tonight? We had some drops. He was tired. I guess if this is my road to redemption, I'm trying. 
Um, as far as um, me and Demon oh. Mama, I do have the uh, a, a very uh, affectionate passion for disabled people. I am one. I suffer from a disability, multiples. Uh, and so when I speak on those, understand and always know that that is always going to be a point that me and you can always agree and fight with our respective uh, trolls the same fight. I'm in it with you, whatever you say. I'm, I'm willing to negotiate and talk about those things because that's I maybe somewhere too. we can have some commonality right there. It's to me, okay? Sure no bullshit. No bullshit. Um, to Prime, thank you very much. Uh, make sure y'all follow him. He's doing a good thing. And um, earlier, Shadow, you asked why I brought that up. It was because of the comment you made. Um, no, you need think so. to think about when you call for censoring of people. Hey, Socialist Roman. Truly what you're saying. That's all I'm saying, because it starts off that simple. It wasn't being derogatory, and I wasn't trying to be bad faith. So I want to make yeah, sure you're clear on that. I'm know. saying I, it right I, now. I'm I, looking at you right I now. I'm saying that. it, man. I wasn't trying to be derogatory. I'm saying you're that calling happen, for people's Space beliefs to be censored because of the words they say or the, what they believe. Yeah, I agree, Mizuko. That's that slippery slope that we need to be very careful of. And I thought you, for one, would know that clearly, culturally. Like, that's ingrained in you from birth, that that's how it starts. And I'm sorry if it was disrespectful. I didn't mean it as such. And uh, much love. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. All right. Um, let's go to uh, uh, the Dean. Um, Are y'all in fucking the... shock? What the fuck? Y'all okay? I said nothing. Uh, hey, the Dean. Uh, yeah. Minimum wage. Thumbs up. It's dope, yo. Uh, raise it. Um, that's all I have to say about that. Um... Uh, but in terms of everything else, you can find me on Twitter at Hey It's Vadim. Um, you can find my YouTube channel, Hey It's Vadim. I've got a video that's coming out that's got Anthony Fantano, Tom Nichols. We're in hell. If you don't watch YouTube, uh, then you won't know these people. But if you do, we love and Vadim. you're a lefty, then you probably know who they are and you know that they're fucking dope. Uh, and it's going to be that would be funny to see, Adam. That would be amazing to see, in pool. fact. I found some deleted videos that um he doesn't want you to know about that make him look really really horrible and as a matter of fact my uh friend counterpoints here actually helped me out a little bit with some knowledge about uh the police on that and 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 that's uh, really awesome of him and uh other than that um watch wonder woman oh shit gay fish that's my awesome ass well maybe react to it on wednesday cgi my ass on to Cal Godot. I did a lot of squats, a lot of vinyasa yoga and Pilates yeah. to get in His shape for that, that ass roll. And so, um, yeah, I just really appreciate the teams it on YouTube. people watch that too, because that's really my life's work. That's my legacy. Um, but no, do 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 subscribe to Hates Vadim because if you don't, you're a fucking loser. All right, that's it. All right, thank true. You. Um, and if you have links. That you want people to follow that please throw them in my twitch chat so we can find you okay um every and that's to everyone okay uh fanatic okay there we go yeah listen would um, anyone be willing sorry, to drop to my chat my links in I the chat COVID, but i'm definitely sick um just a little bit nasally, in the in the prime kai's chat sore throat and my body aches i mean by body thank pain you and all the the website all and the um, so I'm just doing better. Anyway, the website and look, the, the uh, YouTube and first, the Discord. Shadow said, um, Discord, YouTube, you said. You and website, about, if you're willing. Um, Thank you. Increasing the minimum wage is going to like uh, motivate people to wanting to pursue um, freaking Ooh, automation pizza. more. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, and it just doesn't make any sense. And here's the reason why I would say that. Um, it's it, because there's no correlation between how much a company is making or what like what their debt to income ratio is to them trying to pursue automation they're just going to pursue automation whatever if we leave minimum wage at 99 cents but they find a way that they can make that they can automate Good night, snips thanks like, for coming by the profit is there and they don't have to pay anything well uh, we got it. questions like, and we're gonna go over the panel with, oh man now we're making less money we really need to figure it out and some other and politics too perfect um example of that is looking at someone like tesla um in 2017 Tesla made, uh, what was it, like $11 billion, $11 billion in revenue. But yep, it didn't, that, I've I mean, heard of that, Adam. I've heard of people and, doing um, that. They go down even south. With that, yep, they still it's happened for a long really time. Trans people do that too sometimes. A little less so these it days. It doesn't matter but... how much money they make. They just want to automate because it's going to save them money. Walmart makes God knows how much money. Thank you, Looney. they're still I talking my best. about, like in certain Walmarts, getting rid of cash registers altogether. So, yeah, like that's not a real thing. Um, finally, listen, it's Martin Luther King's birthday. I made a song quite a while ago, 
but I released it in September. It's called Revolution. Um, I think the artwork says it all. You can listen to this song. Uh, it has Martin Luther King qu uh, quotes in it. Um, here's the link to it. You can uh, listen to it there, or you can just search my name, Fanatic and Revolution, or any of my any of my music is on every platform. Yeah, don't worry. We're going to do a review and some questions and stuff uh, afterwards. Which It'll be really great. Fanatic. Um, check out my music because I'm a probably a much better musician than I am. Like literally, uh, no, nothing devoted yet, Neverick, right, but I want to in the future. Fair enough. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, go to Shadows. Shadows. Uh, thank you for submitting the uh, question. Uh, it's very much Aww, appreciated. Thank you so much, Siggy. Uh, I'll keep making. I um, just want to uh, uh, give that bit of uh, yeah, recognition because it. it's very important. Um, and always, we're you happy to have you around. Shadows. Uh, let people know um, where they can find you. Um, yeah, so I guess just for my closing statement, um, I mean, I was going to respond to Demon Mama's comment about, you know, how, like, it's good to automate these jobs away, and I'm not going to act like she doesn't have a point, uh, but I do feel like, you know, uh, you know, the speed of automation is a concern, and I think it is something that is going to, you know, cause a uh, fanatic that is really loud, my dude. Um, uh, I do think Hi, that is Jess. You good know, to see you. But I guess Fanatic has a point. I, the issue of automation is a whole other thing um, that I could talk about another time. Um, it, you can Thank find you so me much, Uncle at Gumball. Shadows of Twitch.tv forward slash Shadows of Liberty. Thank you, you so much for the cheer to sub. Really appreciate that. Or probe me on my other econ takes. Uh, I promise you, I will prob I'm, my other econ takes are probably not as bad as this. Um, you know, they're generally more left wing. Um, or if that scared you enough too much, then, hey, you don't have to reach me for politics. You can still come and just listen to me play some video game music or some jazz. I, uh, I'm really big on playing piano. I'm even thinking of like doing some composition streams. So really trying to get into music. If you're into that, give me a follow. Uh, just a panel. Uh, on Twitter for hot, Bit of spice. Other hot neo Actually, cakes. it's been pretty spicy. You can go shadows underscore liberty. Um, yeah, and thanks for having me on Prime. It's a Absolutely. pleasure as usual. Yes, absolutely. Everyone, uh, Shadow's a great guy. Uh, and someone we always appreciate having here on the panel. Uh, go give him a follow. Uh, Shadows, again, uh, put your links in chat if you want to make sure. Um, you didn't t you didn't have him typed in my uh, chat, so I couldn't shout you out. So, um, All right, go ahead, uh, uh, counter points and counter. Um, as always, uh, I give the most credit to you because you um, help the most uh, by coming up with all these amazing topics. It's a huge weight off my shoulder when someone does that. I got to thank you every single time for that. So uh, counterpoint and and just for being a fantastic guest uh, as always. So counterpoints, uh, thank you for being here um, and uh, let everyone know what they can find you. Pro streamer. Muted. You're muted. You're muted, counter. Pro right. streamer. Yeah. He was decent this evening. Sorry, I needed a burp. Um, so <laughs> the... So no, uh, th thank you for having me on. Like I said, as long as you continue to invite me, I, I will I will be here. And uh, basically in reference to the last subject, I do want to say that the these subjects are incredibly important. I think it's important that we fight them out. For instance, uh, Redneck, myself, Shadows, we've all ingested economic arguments from the right wing for a really long time. Some of them are borne out by data. Some of them are not. Uh, we need, need to fight these things out. We need to figure out what's propaganda, what's real, how do we improve society. And I think uh, conversations like this are really important. Um, you can find yeah, me. Yeah, but ironically, uh, on YouTube, you're uh, not wrong. Right on your screen right now, it should say Connor Point, C O N O R P O I N T S. If you're on Twitter, you can follow me there, and there's a link to my YouTube right there. And then um, I just wanted to say, uh, Fanatic and Demon Mama, I know we got into it a little bit last time. I'm actually very appreciative of uh, what we were able to accomplish tonight. That doesn't mean that yeah. we're not going to get passionate or heated um, in the future. Uh, but basically, I posted a video that had a little bit of schadenfreude, me enjoying um, some of the drama surrounding uh, Demon Mama's hotter takes in the past few weeks. Um, I literally deleted that video while we were streaming because I think we had a more productive, healthier, happier conversation. And I'm, I'm more than welcome to get passionate and even yell at each other in the future. Um, but I do, I do like it when we focus on policy That's and description nice. and description and then and try to figure out what each other are saying and then take it take it from there so thank you very much i love tonight thank you awesome all right uh and last but not least we have dima and team i'm always happy to have you around um uh, you're uh, a, a ball of fun and uh full of knowledge and passion and uh you're a fantastic person to uh, have on these things 
thank you so much you know tell people where they can find you oh thank you so much um yeah you can find me real easy right at my website demon mama just like the name right down here demonmama.com is my website where i stream to you can also follow same exact name demon mama on youtube and likewise if you want to be on my discord and get my notifications discord.gg forward slash demon mama super simple uh, i'm going to be doing q a after this so if you have questions about my positions or whatever you want to poke my brain uh come on by my chat and i'll be taking questions and all that kind of stuff um other than that uh thanks for having me on prime it's always uh always amazing all right thanks you all right so uh once again uh chat we're going to roll into our walk on panel where i true like, silence yes, you. you're not wrong uh, can be involved um so uh, anyone here, of course, can uh, uh, take part in all of that. If not, that's okay. Thank you for spending your time, your energy, your passion, your knowledge, my community. I know they appreciate it just as much as I do. Thank you so much. Love to have you all uh, back again in the future. Have a good one. See you guys. Have a great night. Yeah. You Bye, see everyone. You. Take care. Well, that was super interesting, actually. That was super, super interesting. I had a good time with that.